didn't care to, uh, I didn't care to, have, like, look up anything. I only only reason I started. Up, I'm sorry. What you saying? I was gonna say the only reason I care now is because I caught a Pokemon that I really want on my team and it won't listen because I'm too, I don't have enough gym badges. That's the only reason that I started looking for like the right way because I was like, shit, well, where the Pokemon that that listen to me when I catch them? Because that was like what I was looking for, and I saw that it had a picture that showed like the correct order. I was like, huh? So we go back and forth like that. Well, let me do it like the opposite way so it'll be like a little different. I like I'm trying to do it that way. But, like, I'm just running into, like, training obstacles, like, the gaps, and then the fact that I be over-leveled when I come. So, I may just do it out of order, like, how I've had been doing it. Like, they just feel better that way. My little dragon's 35, and I haven't got 30, my third gym badge yet to get level 30. You finished all of it? I'm at the last, um, last gym, last, uh, dude for, uh, the motherfucking, uh, Team Star. What did you make for your last gym? What you mean? Alright, which gym is it? Uh, Psychic. I think you have right. to do psychic labs. Because of the abilities and stuff to like get there. Because I see some of them are like, oh, you got to have this ability. Like, hey, they see the 70s, ain't they? Yeah, like, I think you see the overload uh, just off top. Okay, like, shit. Like, you know, like, some people went to the ice gym first, and like, like everything scales to you. Okay, cool. Because, like, I went to bug first and I went to grass and then I just I'm about to do electric it's like my third one I'm probably gonna sit back over and I get electric I may get like one more and go do like tiny thing go to that because I won't figure that what up Kilo come on bye And I've been hunting for a lichen rock with the right ability. That I, shit has I been going. <laughs> Bro, I've been trying to catch up with the right ability. About three days, I didn't went through probably about 20 lichen rocks. A lichen rocks, but rock rocks. Trying to get this lichen rock uh, um, afternoon when the third one, not that day. Cause I know you can catch um, I can rocks in either form, like out in the overworld. Mm. I've seen them out in the catch overworld. Them all instead of except the the autumn form, the dust form. Yeah, yeah, that's what I. That's the one that I'm trying to get a like and rock with it. the right ability. I think it's only tempo, and you just have to level it. Time. Yeah, I got the only tempo. Grind. I got the place that I can just level it up at real easy. In this little tunnel where I found taking it, I ran through the hole and found him the first go around. And I found a shiny Maria and I got a shiny Azumarill. This yellow Azumarill is still be being blue. That's pretty dope. That's gonna be what I use for that's art. Another. I kept my Pikachu and turned into a Raichu with that flying Terra type. It's that he been kind of strong. It's actually how I caught a Gabite in that same little dragon time.
What did he say to clean chapter this week? What was that? I only got to where Luffy uh, and uh, Cheetah walked out again. That's the end of it. That's the end of it? <laughs> That's the end of it. Oh. You ain't that thing, Okay, because they was like, Straw Hat. And he was like, A Pidgey guy! <laughs> <laughs> And they can say, oh, no, your name, Pigeon Guy. What's <laughs> up, man? See, now they time back in the shit that I remember. I told you, they little rematch is going to be tough, because, I mean, he they not there to fight each other, but they going to fight each other, though. I want to see these other three Seraphim. I ain't seen that shit. I want to see Boa Seraphim and uh, Mihawk shit. I want to see what them two are going to look like. like. What they look like when they was younger. I got an idea what Mihawk shit could look like. Because we have seen him as like a young man. Not like an old nigga. But like a young nigga. No teenager. I feel like his seraphim is gonna be like a teenager with like the hawk's eye and his big ass sword. Kuma gonna show up. I feel like that's gonna be their escape route. They're gonna be fine. Kuma gonna show up and he's gonna send everybody everywhere else again. I seen that you posted it in the chat. Yeah, this bitch kind of nice. I had to set it you up. You like how I look on the TV? Oh, you haven't played it on the TV yet? Yeah, I sent a, a picture. I um, tried out. Uh, I didn't like how Cyberpunk looked, but then again, you know, I'm going to play Cyberpunk on the PS5. But um, yeah, everything seemed to scale right. Seemed to scale right. Um, what up, Dro? What you been up to? What Dro mine? Everything seemed to scale right. Everything uh, seemed to fall into place. Uh, uh, I only got to try you Hawker Show before I got on. I wanted to see what like Zelda look like on. Um, hey, I bet that whole like dope. The Zelda mm -hmm. probably gonna look dope on the TV. Yeah, like the Wii U games and shit. Oh, I looked mm -hmm. at Pokemon. Pokemon look crazy. Like just seeing Pokemon on. Like the TV like that, yeah. yeah. Like, like crystal, not like you know, like the I old Pokemon like, games. Yeah, like I used to always want to see Pokemon Crystal like on TV and shit. But uh, that's how I felt when we had got um, black and white. I was like, damn, what if this shit was on the TV? Like that's when they had introduced to that studio the first time. You could walk around everywhere like that. Yeah. It's like, damn, what if this shit was on the TV? That'd be dope. <laughs> Say not shit, just work. Did a stereo install this weekend. That's dope. What That's was they? Some twelve, some fifteen, some tens. What was they? They, they tens, but they knocking though. If they ten, I mean shit, tens can knock if you got the right amp. Tens, but they knocking though. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. So I'm thinking I'm gonna pick a day. The stream retro games. I'm probably gonna be dope. The Zelda game, like probably stream Wind Waker on the stream since I ain't started that one or Twilight Princess. You could play, you could play yeah. I was gonna say you could play through them, like, all right, so I don't finna play through this little timeline. Yeah, I like how the timeline is together. You could play through them, the Zeldas. I don't know, like, I'm playing through, uh, Oh, this is Ocarina of Time right now. That bitch dated as fuck. But, like, it's hard. Maria! 
What's up? What's up, Marie? I ain't seen you in a minute. Exactly. You been calling you as soon as you get. Yeah, exactly. Where you been? Her and Dro. Come here, Yeah, I come. Oh. Yeah, I'm on y'all here today. Why well, he going off in the behind y'all neck? Yeah, I'll be here. I've been wondering what I've been. I've been on my Pokemon. Me and my little gang of killers. And around Paddea. And they see a warning poster for a people tar up there. People tar name is Slayer. You just run around Paddea and just slaughter your shit. I haven't even got to it, Cedro, man. So don't start with me. Because <laughs> you can so be. Okay, I'm, on the first, I'm about to be on my first one. Let me finish it. Let me finish, Nitro, man. Let me just finish and we can get out. It is pink. It's, it's pink. <laughs> they do look a little pink on the camera. Is that white? The white make it, it stand out a little more. I like to say, nice state of pink. Came back with the food. Right, Joe, man, because we gonna see it. What did he say? Hey, he said we was talking about your chair. I said I like the chair personally. It's a nice shade of pink. He was like, it's okay to be a little weird with the chair color. I was like, yeah, Chris. Last, the last nigga that need to call anybody weird. We gonna set that straight right now. I really could have gone when I would have got a UK chair. What that, Haley? Oh, nice. I like chairs and make they stand out in the stuff. So, I'm waiting on the damn Domino text. It didn't tell me that they pulled up. Crazy that we both ate Domino's today. I'm seeing freaking in my screen. We connected. Connected. I let my nigga grub. I'm gonna break my Xbox console. What would happen now? What, what happened? See, you on Xbox, that's the first mistake. What's the second mistake? On Xbox, that's the first mistake. Speaking of console, uh, Do you, I, my uh, friends told me to be looking out for this email on like the 14th. So. Your friends? My friends are at work. Is doing if they that. got you that PS5 for real, that's going to be crazy, bro. But he said, look for look for the email on the 14th. He was How like, the buggiest yeah. Pokemon game ever treated. You know what's crazy, bro? I don't see no bugs. That'd be I, know, I haven't I haven't had one either. 
They be them hating ass niggas that be talking shit, bro. They be wanting the bug to pop up. I swear. I haven't played. Every- I haven't had one either. Like the only bug, the only like weird thing that's happened is just the Pokemon render kind of slow. That's the only thing. I ain't had like a crash. Wait, no, that's not a bug, nigga. That's, that's not a bug then. That's like the only thing that I have a problem to is that the Pokemon just render a little slow if I'm no, in the new place. No, that that's, ain't never been no, that's that's what they uh like you talking about when you let them out and run beside you or when you walk in a new area and they load in. I walk into a new area that I've never been before. It don't happen that's when what, I've like, been there before. So you load so each zone like so they had it like you didn't did you play art you didn't play RC, did you? Mm-hmm. All right, remember how Arceus, they had, like, the zones or whatever? Well, it's kind of, it's set up like that. Like, how to load. The out the load screen. So when, you, so when you, like, walk over, like, literally, you can walk a foot. You could cross over into a new loading zone. So that whole zone going to got to load the new Pokemon. Because you may see, like, one Pokemon that's not, like, like, Flareon. Like, as soon as I cross over to an area that's, like, fade into mountains, Flareons would start like spawning, but like I could step back Damn. and they had disappeared. Like, but just the Flareon will disappear. But it has to reload that entire zone again because you got to incorporate Flareons. And shit. It's weird. But I mean, like, that's how Arceus was when it first came out. They can just fix that's an optimization thing. Yeah, it's just, it's not really, it can be like buggy depending on like if you, like, I just feel like it works. It's- the worst or is the slowest when you've never been there before. But if you have like Poke uh mind stops there, like the Pokey stops there with the Pokemon. If you've got like a place that you've been to around there before, it like helps it load in faster, I think. Cause I don't have I don't see or like notice that they load in slower when it's in a place that I've been before. Mm-hmm. Like not like a new area, like how I haven't yeah, been like, in the snow yeah. place yet. If I go to the snow place for the first time, I may be like watching them all load in for the first time. It's the like if I leave, like, they, remember yeah. they said like so they said something about some memory leak or whatever. But once you go into an area, like it stays like basically yeah, it would stay load quicker. Yeah. Because mm-hmm. when I was going through this cave at first, when I discovered the cave while I was catching my dragon types in, it would load them in slow because they're rare spawns in that cave. And, like keep running back and forth through it because if you turn your back on the cave it reloads all the spines that's all you had to do is turn your camera to the back and it reloads everything behind you you said i ran back through the cave and i just kept doing that but the more times i did it like the faster they would reload the spines it's like going back and forth eventually it just made it to where i would be like all right i probably got about three more times running through here and that's why the reason like that you're talking about is why like one of the reasons Arceus had like everything split up like the ice area and then you know like, the mud or something and shit like that but it is what it is um like it it's not really a complaint it's just really that's just something that i just wish was better it's not really a complaint. i don't think that there's nothing bad in the game because this is one of the first pokemon games that you just go do whatever you want to in your own like desired way without it being like i would way. just i would play it like i would just run into different areas and just walk up the just, shit. Just, just uh, don't even like that i've like, been doing do it. It. just fucking run around like i found when i found out where the um the pseudo legendary i went and found the way to get to it yeah because that's what i've been looking for but i saw that i needed to have climb to make the little ride easy because no, i got to swim you don't got you can just walk that can't you? You, you if you if you got enough patience you can find a way around that because i did i didn't have climb i think i had yeah. high jump which is like the first thing you unlock yeah, i had got i got that dash the high jump and swim them the only three that i got right now Oh, if you got those, then you definitely gonna go. Because you can swim. One dude I watched, he swam all the way around. Yeah, I did that yeah. for one place. I swam all the way around the beach to go catch Frigibax. I had caught him up down yeah, the beach. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Frigibax is the pseudo. Yeah. So, yeah, I didn't, I didn't swim. I didn't have swim yet. So I did the... Uh, Whoa. I did the, the, I did the high jump. Because it I, is bridges. No, so it's one spot you get to this mountain and it's just like a mountain like there's no pathway there's no nothing i jump from like space to space yeah, damn like, so i would got i got to this one area where like i couldn't fucking like jump any higher 
So like I I, I timed it to where like when he started slide, sliding, I jumped again and he like latched on to like the uh the one rock and then I was able to get up there. Yeah, yeah. Cause I had to go do a little method where I had to like start a battle on one rock and I had to win it. I just gotta see. Ah oh, damn. Oh you wanna do you want nobody to see you eat? But see, I had to go from one rock to another rock. But the crazy thing is, you have to win the battle for it to bring like your character to that rock where your Pokemon is at. And I had to do that a bunch of different times to get to where these oh, Yeah, and then they quit the battle yeah. and just run in. Yeah, and I had to get that to get to an area on the lake where Dratini was because I didn't have swim yet. Um, have you been running around to where you? Run into those Pokemon that are blocking ways. Yes, bro. Like they be in the middle. They be in like the forks of the road. If yeah, you like they they three evolutions, and then the big one in the middle. Man, and then like you can't ride past that big one. Gonna stop you every time. Like I tried to jump I, I, over. I, <laughs> bro, I tried to jump over one of them. He said, "No, we gotta square up with them hands at." Like, that's why like, I keep me some nice in the back pocket. No, yeah, bro, I keep me a one shot. I was like level. Two. 20 and he was like level 65 bro mm. like they, scale them, they scale them to you and then like i finally found a way around him through another walk away and then i jumped did the little jump thing i uh told you about and got to the city where uh i because i was trying to get the um the little fire dude that turned into like the uh ghost fire type or the ghost psychic type, mean the fire psychic type. Yeah. But you gotta get uh, his items in a in a city where like it's blocked off up top in the mountains. Yeah, you got to go to the lady when you collect the the chips. I think ain't that what it is? Mm -hmm. And it's Sinistry chips and Violet, and I think mm -hmm. it's Bronze or Peace. In my game, cause I'm trying to go. I went and got the Bronze or Pieces. But my dumb ass then raced at the Pokemon and stopped in the town, so now I got to ride all the way back up. Yeah, I think that's funny too. Like if you don't if you don't rest there, you don't get to you don't get to go back. I feel like if you get within a certain range, it's a, it should register nah, you because what if I see a Pokemon stop. and I can't stop? Nah, nigga, stop. No, what if I see someone in the distance? I got to go chase nah, it. Stop, nigga. It don't, it don't, I mean, it I'd be like, man, bro. bro that just no, stop where, you, where was you at when he, I said, I'm gonna finish eating? He don't, he don't like people watching him eat. Not when I'm like dipping stuff. So. Something that go on my mouth, and then y'all go in. That's not gonna be me tonight. <laughs> you said, I can't have this tonight. I'm sorry. Any other night. My surprise trades have been kind of funny too. I got straight Man, starters bro, my first bro. two or three days. Bro, I had got an extra starter. For, um, I got a whole set of starters. I got a glass of water and a five from my surprise trades. And this was like when I first started playing the game. I like, damn. So I just been swapping them out as like I need to. Nah, you if we go, go, be my dude. At least two of them. Yeah, like, that's what I've been trying to do. Like, I got the the grass one. That's the one that's like the second highest. And then Fue Coco is the highest because that's the one that I chose. I ain't really fucked with the water one for real because I got good water types already. That nigga in the box. Yeah, that nigga in my box right now. He's chilling. Shit, I got that dolphin. I got. I just got the evolved dolphin. I think he got the evolved dolphin. You yeah. gotta be in a. Um... We can do it here in the uh, after this. Yeah, yeah, I got to invite a dolphin because I like his community. Then I had finally went and caught a um, marine, I think, because I want a Toxapex as like my main water type. Toxapex? I caught the three evolution. Have y'all played Calista Protocol? No. Bro, I heard that shit is. Yeah, I heard that shit is violent as hell though. 
No, they said they got like fucking uh, DLC for like killing animations. Like, nigga, what are y'all on? Or they said that shit is real deal violent. Like, I seen one of the executions from the enemies. That nigga legit beat the dog shit out. He said something. <laughs> but this shit just was crazy. Like, it take the whole. How the enemies used to kill Isaac and Dead Space if you got low him. It take that shit to another level, bro. Because they like zombies. It's not like they. They aliens and zombies, but they look more like people, though, is what I'm trying to say. Yeah. I don't know. It's on my wish list. I, I mm-hmm. want to get it on PS5. I want to wait to get. I want to stop buying my games until I get my PS5 so I can just. I said, I bet I don't got to re download these. I mean, you can get them because they all come with, like, the PS4 copy. Yeah, that's a lot of games you already got now that probably got the PS5 copy. You just got to download yeah. them. A bunch of games I got a PS5 copy that I get on me. Yo, shut your bitch ass up, bro. Damn, he on your ass first. Dang, oh. why he do you like that? He on your head, yo. I'm gonna start banning everybody that come behind you. <laughs> <laughs> Hilarious, my boy. He said, <laughs> I'm gonna ban everybody that come behind you. <laughs> You're the only one you had trouble out of. No, I'm just everybody by association, except for uh, Kilo because he wanted to give you smoke. I need him on the team. <clears throat> that was good. <laughs> Well, we still tired. <clears throat> yeah, I've been up since uh, six, I think. Six thirty seven. Damn, not Kilo. Yeah, Kilo on the team, bro. Your bitch ass ain't. Get your light up before you talk. Before you talk to me, bro. And why he told you like, damn? He said, get your light level no, up. No smoke, no, bro. You don't start. Hey, me and Kilo. Me and Kilo been playing. We played DMZ today. He wanted me to talk about DMZ. We've been playing this shit hard. We found all oh, we got almost done with our mission. At DMZ on uh, Warzone. Oh, so is Warzone in like in Modern Warfare Two now? Like, like Modern Warfare have... Two is like its own thing. You do have to download Warzone Two. No, it didn't because War... I was on Warzone on Modern Warfare uh, Two. Well, yeah, I think if you bought the full game, the download for it came with, right, when it came out, all you was waiting for it was the release date. Haley, you can't send an invite if somebody's not online. Dro, I'm still eating, Negro. God damn. These niggas on your head today. Right, But DMZ is like, you do your missions and shit inside of, like, a war zone. And it's only a three man team. Yeah. And you find I, AI most of the time. Yeah, all that we was on. That. All that was on uh Modern Warfare 2. Like I think I can do all of that except for like the no, I think the free for all on there too. Cause I was like, yeah. bro, that's crazy. Cause like it hit like I didn't have to like download Warzone to like see all that. Yeah, Cause the down I remember when I was doing downloading the packs to play the game, Warzone 2 was one of the packs. So like it already came with Modern Warfare 2. Shit. That was kind of clutch. At least you had already had it downloaded though. So when it came out, you was just waiting on like the update for it to come out to release. That was like all that you was waiting on. Shit, I've been playing it. It's pretty fun. I like it because it is a challenge. Like them AI play like real niggas. I ain't gonna need. You playing against AI? Like you play against AI and then you play against other three man teams that you find inside of DMZ. They said the AI scale to your level. So like you may start the game in an area that's like replay AIs with 
LMGs and then snipers on every roof and then a juggernaut spun in. But if you kill everything, you find more higher like shit there. Got an X field. That's the crazy part. Yeah, Haley got that. That was that was the next thing I was gonna say. Prox chat be funny because like you'll be X feeling or you'll run across the team, but y'all can talk it out. Y'all can be like, hey bro, just keep moving. I don't want no smoke. I'm trying to keep my gun. Alright. Like they just be like, alright, I ain't gonna fuck with you. Or you could just rob a nigga, bro. Leave everything on the floor and you can leave. Lead a self revive on the floor too. You kill the nigga, let him let him use himself for revive. Leave everything nah, on the floor. Some of that shit. Leave everything on the floor right now. You can leave. <laughs> DMZ, that shit be clutch though, because if you die in DMZ, you lose everything that you brought into the game. Like, oh, I'm saying. I'm back talking his shit. Oh, uh, <laughs> who talking that shit? Damn, you ugly as fuck. I know your ball. Is this this nigga bald, ain't he? Ain't this bitch ass nigga bald? I ain't in it. I ain't in it. I ain't in it. I ain't in it. I'm not in it. I'm not in it. Bitch ass nigga bald, bro. He look like a jiggly bro. Stop talking that shit. Stop talking to me, kill. You a hoe? Your light level low? You can't get shit? Damn, you ugly as fuck. Stop talking to me, kill. You a hoe? Your light level low? You can't get shit done? Your Pokemon whack? Why you talking to me? It's Sunday. It's God's day. You want to come in here with this bullshit today, bro? Was he here Friday? Was he here last Friday? When, when, yo, when your Friday? hairline, when you get your hairline back, that's when you able to talk to me, bro. How about mm. that? Mm. I fuck with this song. This is like my favorite song from Arceus, bro. I wrote a whole story off this song for Arceus, bro. Mm. I know something we could talk about. Hold on, I wanna. Uh, I got. I got actually. Oh, welcome back! Welcome back! Welcome back! I feel like I ain't did that in like three episodes. Everybody. Episode thirty-one. Episode thirty-one. It is your boy, Lunar Neos, aka the real DJ Pooh, aka Ryu Kage, with my boy Rose God, aka. The shadow of the village, the shadow of the moon. You know what I'm saying? We out here. I don't like my new medicine, bro. I don't like my Make new you sleepy. Make no, you sleepy. Just... <coughs> mm -hmm. It's hard to explain. Especially Make you feel weird. Like some days I'm some some moments I'm fine and then other moments it's just like uh or whatever. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like if I'm out of it, I really feel it. But when I'm in, yeah, but not even that when I'm just like when I'm not like happy nor sad or whatever, I really feel it. Just but me. but if I'm lit I'm but if I'm lit like um like I'm chilling. Sometimes he be like that. <clears throat> All right, bro, and hey, you know what? I've realized that, like, you know, like morphine and like fentanyl and uh, Parker says, like, it's crazy, like, all that can, like, affect your mood, too. Mm -hmm. Like, if you a type of person like how I am, I exercise a lot, so I introduce to, like, dopamine into my system on the record. Kill said, yeah, it was three episodes. Hey, that was about three episodes. You took that shit personal. <laughs> Duh, nigga. <laughs> That's a declaration of war. Anything I say after that is on you. Nigga didn't even say what up. No, hey, nigga said, oh my God, this nigga ugly as fuck. I'm glad he cut that camera off. Like, nigga. Like how you be saying that so like, is no, my no. worst enemy. This yeah. nigga is your worst enemy. <laughs> Yeah, but damn, I be dealing with this all year. You only dealt with Soul for two weeks, bro. Only three? We gonna say three. No, that was two, nigga. It just About felt two, like man. three because he was on Facebook throughout the week fucking with you. <laughs> Same thing. But, uh, anyway, besides the medicine shit. Uh, Got something I want to talk about. Do y'all feel Jay like y'all in the... Oh, yes, don't... Yeah, we got to talk about that. Do y'all feel like, 
First thing I say when I enter chat, I did say what's up. Well, nigga, I ain't see it, so it don't. It's irrelevant at this point. Uh, do y'all feel like y'all in the Christmas spirit? Is the village in the Christmas spirit? Haley, don't answer this. We we already know your ass probably the Christmas spirit. Want to get past? I mean, let me answer this question for you myself. All right, go ahead. I'm gonna play that one more time. That my shit, bro. Yes and no. The reason I say yes is because I'm always looking forward to Christmas because my birthday is right after Christmas. Okay. I say no because I feel like I didn't get a chance to celebrate Thanksgiving for you because I but that's just me personally because I was at work. Okay, so you like so you missed one, so now you like this one got a hit. Yeah, this one like I'm gonna be at home with my folks for real. I'm moving. I'm gonna be at home close to my folks. It got the got to we have a good christmas every christmas like even if we feel like even if it's just us hanging out and eating together we always just have we'll get you a new prescription here we go focus like see nigga my bifocals bitch shut your you bald headed you're bald do you know do you know your life is down the drain now you're bald i dropped you're the locks bald on him, now this i dropped the locks on him i dropped the locks on him Draw the uh, lights on him. No, I don't even show my dress no more. He don't deserve to see him. hair. That's why you bald, cause you got all the goddamn hate in your heart. God, this nigga, still working out this this. nigga look like this, y'all. Since he want to talk shit, this what this nigga look like. Tell me you gonna pull pull up a picture at Italy Puff. <laughs> this what this nigga look like. I, said, I can't see it on my screen. I'm gonna have to see it in the chat. And turn it sideways. Nigga look like callous. <coughs> nigga look like. <laughs> this is what this nigga look like. This is what this nigga look like. Had to kill your color. This is what this nigga look like. This is this nigga look like. This is this nigga look like. This this nigga look like, bruh. And he got the nerve to talk to me, bruh. Shut your bitch ass up, bro. Get some hair. I caught a, I caught a jiggly puff. This, right this nigga look like. This this nigga look like. Jiggly. This this nigga look like. This this nigga look like. Bro, quit talking to me, bro. <laughs> this you look like, bro. Super alloy dark side. Bro, quit talking to me, bro. Quit talking to me, bro. Super alloy dark side. <laughs> you like that, dog? <laughs> Super alloy dark side. His lips are the dark side, bro. Hey, I was thinking about, ain't this a bald black nigga in one person? Yes, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, boy. Boy, oh, I ain't nigga. seen the picture. And Dark Shine died in one person. <laughs> Sorry <laughs> as fuck. You wanna know why? Because he's a side <laughs> character. He irrelevant. Nigga said, my son. And he died. Fucking up my song. Let me replay that beat. Going back to the Christmas question, I just feel like this holiday need to hit. Yeah. Outside of that, I don't think I, I feel like this Christmas is gonna be a good Christmas. I'm actually gonna get something I really want. Well, yeah, you're think. getting a PS5. Um, I haven't, I haven't felt like Christmas was Christmas since I was like. 16. I got a question. Do you feel like it's time to start making like our own like little traditions that we do for Christmas? Make it special for us? Because I feel like that's the age where you start to be like, I'm growing out of like my family traditions because you've been doing them for 16 years at that point. Like, because that's at the point where I'm like, I'm like, shit, when I finally do get like the time to be like, all right, 
Let me like make my own traditions for my own holidays. Like, I'm gonna do this shit for Christmas. Yeah. I'm gonna do this shit for New Year's. Like something I personally would want. I to. think I think yes. I think that's part of it. Um, what up, Squirtle? Yeah, we got the podcast and maybe yes, draw I want Christmas. I want Christmas like it used to be. More joy, less uh, stress. I don't even care about the stress. If there was joy, I don't feel no joy. I feel like the grit sometimes. Mr. Screw just said, I ain't, I ain't got no money to take it. Like, you ain't taking no money. Enough. I don't know. It's weird. Like, I try to make yeah. traditions and, like, they're enjoyable. But at the end of it's the not day, the like, same. it's not the same, though. Know? Because, like, I heard a lot of people say when they say you start to feel like that about Christmas, they be like, kids, if you feel like that. Oh, wait, my kids don't like Christmas, though. Yeah. I don't know, bro. It's weird. Because it's like, when I when I was little, like, I don't know. Christmas kind of like changed. I don't know. It like from a young age, like I I, I used to get super excited for Christmas, and then yeah. get the Christmas, and I was just like, and like for me, it wasn't like a Santa Claus thing. They had nothing to do with it. That's just your imagination. Yeah, no, it ain't got nothing to do. Don't have nothing to do with it. It really has just something to do with like how you feel, and like that's what a lot of people in our like age range they be like this shit don't feel the same no more and like that's what i always like to rebuttal with like whatever. what do you mean your twitch paid now no dro like no it's just this mean, specific like, holiday yeah, bro like, you know how like the like, screws mcduck bro like you know he don't like christmas but he like making money off the holiday like me personally, uh, it's just a holiday yeah like christmas yeah, just not, not, don't feel like christmas no more he's not saying he hate christmas like he's not getting paid no, he's just like, saying no that. i'm saying like i'm not like like, I feel like Screws without the money. You know, Screws yeah. is making bank. The little Twitch check I'm getting right now, it sound good, but it ain't nothing yet. I'm just happy that I, it's something. Growing. Yeah, it's, it's something growing. Grow. You know what I'm saying? You so, it. <laughs> Yule is better anyway. <laughs> oh, my gosh. No, I, like, I, I, I looked up, like, different, like, um, like, holiday traditions and stuff. And it's just like I I wouldn't get into it, but it's just dope that like you know like you're all like they teach you all about Christmas and there's so much yeah, more to the other, world and stuff. That's like Hanukkah. I like Hanukkah is basically Christmas on steroids. You get a month of twenty four presents. Like I thought you get it was seven days. days. I thought it was seven. So days. I heard that I heard one like with people that are like I think it's Jewish Catholic people. They do that's it for twenty four days. No, yeah, for Hanukkah. Then, then I must be thinking quite. I don't, I mean, probably Kwanzaa I'm thinking about, but Kwanzaa. Uh, Kwanzaa, Kwanzaa is like that. A it's week long. Days. Yeah, but like yeah. they like they give gifts to each other, you know, and they have like a theme of that day, like you know, and it's just like when I learned about Kwanzaa, I was like, damn, like you know, Africa it has a whole. Yeah, like, African has a Christmas for yeah, seven hundred like, days. Like we had Christmas for seven days. And it's just like they don't ever teach you that shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, because. I feel like Christmas is more like a religious thing, and it's not really like because that's what it's kind of weird to look at Christmas like it's a state holiday because Christmas is like a religious holiday. Ain't like in America, state is supposed to be separated from the church, but that's Christmas is a state holiday though. It's a okay. Christian Christianity is law. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like that's a law because Christmas is a state holiday. Like it's a legal federal holiday. Yeah, you know what else in the world? They holidays the, are just holidays. You know, all of the Christmas Christian holidays are you know state holidays, but like uh, Kwanzaa, holidays. Kwanzaa barely is barely in damn calendars. Like you don't even know when Kwanzaa is going on. But but that's getting off topic, and it's really not even about the presence and shit. Like I just don't feel the feeling. It's the feeling. Yeah. And like I, how it's brought to you because that's like how i feel about kwanzaa i feel like kwanzaa is cool because like how you said you get seven days no but it, i'm just different. talking about overall like just that holiday spirit as they as you yeah. would say i hate christmas music i don't want to listen to christmas music my you know, like christmas music come on too much for me yeah like my little brother loves christmas music that nigga rock out christmas music from november 1st to january 31st can't do it. i just can't I can't do that either at all. I, get, I like to feel festive when I like feel festive. I wear my Christmas hat. Like the closer you get to Christmas, I wear my Christmas hat everywhere. I don't do none of that. I don't go to no Christmas parties or nothing. I don't know. Christmas, 
Me and our family, I'm the person that wear the Christmas hat all the time. Like, I didn't wear the Christmas hat in our family for like four years now. Like straight. Like the whole week of Christmas, I'd be like, shit, like I'm gonna throw my hat on. Hell, I remember two years ago, it was actually cold on Christmas, and that's like, you know, I felt a little something, something, but still it wasn't like, it was nothing. Hey. <clears throat> I don't know, I feel like I'm weird, def- defective. That's why I want to ask, like, the podcast, like, did y'all, make, like, you know, draw, draw answer? But hell. I don't feel, I, I feel like I get better in the spirit the closer it gets to Christmas. It's just the beginning of December. Like, I just don't feel in the mood yet. But you're not weird for feeling. I don't know. I feel like fucking, because, like, everybody be so happy around me, and I be like, okay. And I don't want to, like, yeah. bring that mood down and shit. Like what Maria said, like Maria said Christmas is my favorite, but I think it is what you make it. Like, if you always associate bad things with Christmas, and you I don't, don't try to enjoy it. I ain't saying it's you, but I'm saying like what she's saying. Like when you associate like bad shit and you don't try to do shit for Christmas, then of course it's not gonna be nothing because you didn't try to make it nothing. That ain't what you saying though. I get what Maria's saying. Like it is like what you make it because I've had bad Christmases, but the only reason that was bad was because I didn't do shit. Yeah. But what about the but what about like you try to make it like something and it's still like whatever. I like how Haley said people just kind of grow out of the three of it, and that's like what I go back to what I said about like shit. You had to make your own traditions. You can get the three back into Christmas by making your own traditions. You have something to look forward to every year. I like. I'm it I it being I, like this Christmas. You be like shit. I, said, I I like Christmas, but I enjoy eating. Uh, what's that? Eating biscuit with my, my family more when they come. And then the kill said he don't do Christmas. So he's like, like, do you don't do Christmas because of like religious reasons, or you just don't? Fuck no, he. Like? That's the crazy thing. He is. He grew up religious, so that's kind of crazy for me to hear him say that he don't do Christmas. See, I don't like think I don't really think family makes it for real. Mm-hmm. I don't know. I think family make it for real either because you have people that are single. Like, they be like, oh, I take myself on vacation every yeah, year. For like, yeah, That's like, yeah, I know. People we who, make it out for Christmas. Yeah, I know people who don't have Christmas. Like, who don't yeah, have family. family or nothing. They don't they have Christmas. At all, but they love Christmas. They go on trips and shit. They be like, oh, I take myself on a cruise every year for Christmas. So I go to New York every year for Christmas. So I don't think family like necessarily make Religious reasons. So. I don't do it. I fucking tell you. <laughs> family is who you choose. Family is who I mean, you I, Yes. That is I true. I get too. that, but still, like, I feel like Christmas and holidays in general. Like my birthday. I don't care about my birthday. That's I one thing that, that's one thing that my therapist has told me about, like, I ain't trying to make you feel a certain type of way about it. But this is how it was told to me, and it made me feel a certain type of way about it. She said, you to not acknowledge your birthday. Do you know what your birthday is? Your birthday is the day that you was brought into this world. Are you saying you don't care about that day anymore? You don't care about the day you was born? I was like, right, so you do need to acknowledge your birthday. Like, you at least need to take off work. Because if I had to eat, do something to make it special to acknowledge that this is the day I was born. Like, I was here on this day. Like, this is the day I was here. That's like how I look at it now. Because I was like, how you look at it? I didn't never used to do shit on my birthday. That was just a day I didn't go to work. Because I always used to be like during the week. But well, these last three well, years, my I birthday been on. I got, I got reasons, I got reasons for my birthday. Like when I was little, I used to try to get people together and stuff for my birthday. And it just, it either like everybody would get together and then like they would do their own thing. And I was just left out of it. Like I had this one neighbor who was like, he didn't have no friends but me but he would come over and then just like get everybody to do what he wanted to do and then even acknowledge me on my right. birthday fuck you like yeah. like, fuck so, like yeah. i would just like go off and just like go in my room play the game while everybody's outside yeah. playing and shit and like, shit to it, like when we got older you know everybody did stuff for it. everybody else on their birthdays go party go out to eat and stuff that's the crazy the shit thing Nobody did the same thing. You know what I'm saying? So it just got to where and, I eventually like just stopped asking to where now I just don't care. And like shit. I didn't got like when right, I was have younger. I had to have a good night. Shit, when I was younger I was like that, like shit, I would have I would have friends, we would go out to eat, hang out and stuff for my birthday. 
as I got older, I started moving. I went to school. I started like growing up and like me saying, oh, today my birthday. You can have a birthday this day and day. But for me, if I was dating somebody, that was the only person that did something for my birthday. Oh, my mama. Mm-hmm. My mama is the person. She made me a cake. And she gave me a cake. Let me have a birthday. She take me out to eat. She buy me something that I would want. And that's like my birthday for me. That has been my birthday for like 18 to like 20, like both, like now. And had no problem. Yeah, my dad's, is, my dad has started to do more stuff for my birthday now. When we was little, he had to work a lot. So like, you know, he would like, you know, make up for it or whatever, but it wasn't the day when I was little. So like, I didn't really care no more. Yeah. yeah. But that's not his fault. Like, I'm not like, I said it that. That's life. I just feel like as you get older, what I'm starting to realize is like, I just feel like, I just feel like with me and you, we like being friendly, like we like to include people and shit. So I've come to realize now is that Plus sometimes like we, I like that's what I'm starting to realize now that it had to be like shit, include people that want to be included. Yeah, like it yeah, pissed me off when I seen you say, uh, what was that post? And nobody checked uh, me. No, I appreciate it. They yeah, appreciate it. Yeah. Yeah. And you was like, the village appreciates you, but I was like, I do appreciate me the hard work that I put in over here. No, but it's just like, oh. but that go back to what I was telling you about like, you can, the people that grew up with you don't. I won't say shit about because you. that's what I'm talking about. Like, and it can be, I don't you meet online, they got the best fucking like. Relationships ever. Or, they want the best. Yeah, the best with relationships you. ever with them. Like it don't even have to be on that shit. Like we making money together. It's literally on awesome, some bro. I hope your shit do good. I'm watching your shit. I watch your shit yesterday. Exactly. Yeah. Just little shit like that. And it's like what you be looking for with your friends. And that's like what I'm coming to find out that sometimes like you can just see your face just to see what you're doing. It's to be like shit. All right, whatever. He ain't doing shit. No, Them not your no. real friends for real. Like the other real friends gonna be like shit. Bro, I like that. Like, shit, keep doing that. Keep being yourself. Keep doing, like, what you're doing. Hell, yeah, like, some the niggas that in my town, they come to my shit and then say what I don't got, trying to say what I don't got when I do got it. And then my shit look better than theirs. And it's yeah, like, like, they shit, like, shit that. like that. Trying to up, trying to one up you at your yeah. own shit. Like, I'm not like, trying. Like, I'm trying to do my own shit. It's weird. That shit, dude. And it's they like, weird as fuck, man. they try to mask it as like they looking out, but it's like, no nigga, you don't come in somebody's shit, talking shit, and say like, why don't you got this, that, and the third, when they do, they just sit in the vibe or some shit. Like, that shit pisses me off. Like, I'm gonna be trying to be me, cause you know what I'm saying? Hey, I like how you told me the other day, like the last time I said something like that, you don't be trying to be, say some shit. I didn't get to the point where I just say something every time. I'd be like, bro, I ain't like that. Like, why you had to say something like that? Yeah, and you don't yeah. even necessarily have to come out being me. You just had to say something. Yeah, like, you gotta, like, like, what I've been doing is, like, what, what's the what's the right word? Like, not check them, but, like. And boundaries. No, like, showing them, like, holding the mirror up, like, what is what are you doing? Like, what, why are you doing this? And if yeah. you ain't got no answer, then. I just step back then. You know what I'm saying? Like if you That's got all the run around answers when it come to me, but when it when you talk about something when you doing the same like you break your back to go hang out with somebody else, or you break your back to like be around somebody else or go talk to them and shit like that. Like it's just weird behavior, like cause I seen you how you act going towards somebody else. But then when it comes to me, I don't get the same respect and I be trying to like include you. I was the one texting you to pull up and shit like that, and you pull up and then speak of something, but yet we go somewhere else that they told you to come to, and they not even studying you. They not even paying you no attention and shit, but you trying to speak to them, trying to be included. Niggas are weird, bro. Niggas are they weird. Pick, they pick your folks, my boy. That's why I like Kilo probably. He like the only like when I move, he literally gonna be the only person that I just be hanging out with. Cause we'll be around each other more. Like that's one thing that we ain't had for it since I've been in school is that we like couldn't hang out with each other all the time. Just whenever I come back. Like nah, we'll be able to hang out with each other a lot more. And then I'll be closer to you. It ain't gonna be no shit. Whenever I come back to town, shit, bro, I ain't doing shit this weekend. Come down. Yeah. But I'm finna come yeah. up this weekend. It ain't gonna be no little shit like, oh I got to drive down there today and be gone. I was like I live here. 
Yeah. I'd be closer. So at least you had me on the phone call saying, hey, bro, what you doing? Bang. Oh, no. Because. It's, it's shit having somebody an hour away is better than it's better yeah because at least you don't have to worry about the same shit like with me you don't have to worry about me doing some crazy shit like this and i'm trying well, to be it involved ain't even, it ain't even like it's not even like me having to worry about you but that go back to like it be the niggas you meet literally oh. like i felt like that's I how I... You 10 years it's only been like what three Barely three, that's, that's, that's how cool that we is. That's what I'm saying, bro. And then this is like, you was the only one that like the major schedule will work for this. And now niggas like hit me up, like, bro, let me get on the podcast and stuff. And it's just like, no, nigga, I would literally make Facebook posts about this shit, bro. When I made mine and you said some, what I said, all right, bro, what day are you trying to do? Because you said Friday, yeah, let's do it. I was like, I'll make my shit work for Friday. No, like dead ass, bro. Like that's what I'm saying, bro. Not everybody want to be a part of it. Everybody want to get on here and talk. They talk. They talk. No, it's like if I'm not letting niggas who watch me on the podcast, I'm definitely not gonna let. How look? Like, been here since day one. Cause how like this like, like on the podcast, some new nigga just here that don't nobody know. They don't stream. They not famous. They ain't got no followers. They just pull up on the podcast. On the last day one is gonna be like, bro, what the fuck? I thought I was in line for this that shit. What like, I'm saying, bro. that's what I'm saying, bro. Niggas just think that, and then they feel like because they know me that they get that privilege, and it's no, it's not like that no more. And ain't none support. of it. It's the support. Like, how much support do you get? That like cutting for me. Shit, that's why I only keep up with folks. They keep up with me. They wanna like ask me how I'm doing. It's not me always saying shit, bro. What's up? What you trying to do? Shit, you it's, it's always the other way around, bro. What you doing? Shit, I'm off today. What's, what's good? Like I like them type of friendships where he's pushing pull and he's not pulling, 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 pulling. Oh, like, you the only one hitting people up and they don't hit you up. Yeah, you just feel like you bothering people. Like I like the friends that I have now. Going into twenty five, I'm glad, glad that I had a friend that I have now because I I love all my friends now. All y'all niggas call me. All y'all niggas trying to do. I always like say, bro, what's the good? What you trying to do off today? I just like that. That's better than always being like, uh, I'm off today. What you trying to do? Don't take that. Hey, bro, I hit you up. Didn't hit me back. The message. Mm-hmm. You already see you didn't hit me back. What you talking about? Like, come on. That's how I feel, my boy. You, you a homie. Squirt, I already know you the homie, bro. Yeah, yeah, my boy. You hell. Listen, so I already tell you about with Squirtle. You. Like, Squirtle would check. Like, if I was stream, this nigga would come in. Him and Equivalent would come in on the morning, like, when I'm, like, before I would get off and just kick it with your boy for, like, three yeah, hours yeah. before I got off for, like, a month straight. That's what you call like real yeah. friends, folks that just kick it with you. You ain't even doing shit. I just sit down talking, playing the game. I just sit down talking. Don't even have to be no crazy. Yeah, I eat just sit down talking. But no, shit I'm like saying. that, like, it matter when it comes to friendships, bro. And I just feel like both of us Wait, are at that my point socials, where we just sit. My socials are uh, on my uh, Twitch thing. Like, if you go to my Twitch profile, it's there. Yeah, we will be sitting at the top, bro. Like I, like I just be sitting on Destiny, bro. Get to, we just start talking about shit. You have your socials, then uh, Rose's social shit. Are you talking about uh, me? Then yours. Oh yeah, you don't got yours linked on there yet. I don't think I do just yet. Just send them to him. You know him. You got your stuff down there. Send them to him. I don't know him by heart. That's the thing, bro. Yours uh. And then you got he a in number, the village. Any, like six. Yeah, he in the village. Just put okay, him, if he uh, in the village, I send it to you, Squirtle. If you in the village, yeah, Don't worry about he, it. yeah, he in the village. I need the person featured. Yeah, no, he finna get. He finna put it in the. Uh, he finna find you in the village and send it to you. But yeah, no, nah, but it's just and it's like and it's really like the black community, bro. And that's another thing that sucks about it, cause like our people, like live off social social interactions, but it's just like they make the black sheep feel less than. But then they come yeah, to yeah. us for all the culture, 
Like when they anime got know. cool, they hit us up. You know, they want to know shows to watch. My fault, it's bro. Like they want to know like what's good, what is not good. But like how I'm saying with my friends now, I don't have they. They don't ask me for that. Is hey, bro, you seen me? Shit, bro, you seen that? Oh, I just got that. Right and watching that like it's more organic than me saying and i ain't trying to gatekeep because i do like putting people on and shit but at the same time though you can't come and say you ain't never showed no interest in this shit at all no you I, got to talk to you I, got, I got a prime example hold on let's grow up man that's why i fuck with y'all we can't leave any of our people out <laughs> Hell no, bro. but that i forgot a prime example though my cousin Growing up my entire life has always talked shit about me with anime, because I was in the band, anything I did, bruh. Nigga would be like, that's lame as fuck, you lame, like, why you still watch them cartoons? My uncles, aunties, all of them, bruh. Every last one of them, except my grandma and my auntie on my mama's side. But everybody else... Say they clowning, they clowning hard as fuck. And then my one cousin that be in that be in here in the podcast, my he's the youngest now. Well, he's not the youngest no more, but he was the youngest. So like when I would go visit my grandma, he would stay. He stayed with my grandma, so he would watch anime with me. And so like he got in. That's how he got into anime and shit. But uh, he got my cousin started dating this girl who liked anime and then he got into anime and shit that was and it's always and like somebody gonna, and, and he gonna it's always somebody that they like don't it it's like it's always the girl or the boy that they talking to they be like shit. And how i be saying that's okay it is about what you do after that i feel like it's about what you do after that and be like hey bro i was sleeping but I'm awake now. It's like, nigga, fuck you, bro. You owe me some apology. Hey, bro. like, come like, on. Nah, bro, I'm not. I'm not finna brush that under the rug, bro. Cause you was talking hella shit, bro. And hey, man. And it's just like, oh, we grown now. Yada yada yada. Man, nah, fuck that, bro. Fuck. Like, that. do I like, get it? Nigga, sorry. Nigga, no, cause niggas was hateful saying some of that shit, bro. But then it's like, oh, we grown now. It's, it's water in the bridge. No, it, that. You know why I don't fuck with you, bro. Like, and like how I didn't like come to realize wanna, like, it's like I just like, leave the niggas shit. alone. I just be like fuck it, no, and yeah, they be like, like I don't I don't fuck with them. But it's just like people wanna treat you like shit your entire life, and then be like, oh we grown, bro, chill. It's the same thing when people die. Like when people die, oh they fuck with them, but they was the main ones bullying those folks, bullying um, that nigga and shit, talking shit about that person. And then when they, then that person dies, like, oh, you feel bad now, like, you know. And then, like, how like, I be homie. saying. Why didn't you tell that person you was the homie when they was alive? Yeah, they was alive because, like, how I be saying, that shit is stick with you for the rest of your life. Then the last conversation that you had with somebody was you telling them something that you didn't like about them. And they die. Like, you'll never, like, that's why I always try to be conversations like folks. I hope you have a good day. Uh, have a good, uh, you know, enjoy the rest of your day. Always something peaceful and something nice because you never know, like, when you see them again, and the last thing you want to remember is at least I said something nice to them the last time I was there. Mm-hmm. People don't think about that. I think about shit like that all the time because I know you life are, is a precious yeah, thing. <laughs> you around it, though, so of course you think like that. Squirrel said people don't know how to hold themselves accountable at all, bro. At all, bro. I put precious ass bad, and for you to just be like, I'm a disregard this person, everything that they is in this moment, to be like, fuck them, and they die. That's the last thing you want to remember about this person. Fuck them. I don't know what type of person that is. You, you're not a good person if you could just be like, oh, I can't get somebody an apology, especially when they telling you that you hurt their feelings, or you was wrong in their eyes. So like, you can't just be. And the other cheek and be like, okay, I'm sorry. Like, it don't I say mean, nothing, it's just be like, I'm sorry. This the same with uh, these niggas now that like BBWs, but they was dogging them girls out in school. And, and we was in school, you can't say that. You like, that's how I like, feel about it. Like, now, none of these girls was really big when we was in school. We was just growing up. Now, they now they these they... girls the same size, but now y'all love them. But y'all dogging them. Just, yeah, and they just spilled out now. And then if y'all seen somebody with that girl, you talk shit about that nigga, bro. Like, and now, and now, like, because Drake said in a song, it's everybody's favorite now. 
everybody love it. Everybody needs it. That's how I feel. That's how I feel. So I had sex up on Facebook like that. I was like, y'all niggas was dogging these girls. That now these girls went in big when we was in school. When none of these girls halfway big, and they just spilled out now. Nah. Skinny, getting work done to look like these damn women. These girls don't have to do nothing. They just gotta go to the gym. And as if they had to do that, but most of the time they don't have to do that. Cause they what? They cornbread fat. Bro, the world weird, bro. We're weird as fuck, bro. Like, I hate to be. It's weird being this age in this world. Cause it's like you've seen it on both sides. You've seen it when it wasn't weird. And then, like, you've seen it on the opposite side. Like, when everything's starting to be like accepted. It's like, damn. Like, why couldn't I get this like yeah like I feel I wish I was like I feel like I was I wished I was born like in like 97 if I was born like 97 I'd have took over the universe by now yeah yeah older than me you'd be 25 you'd be about to be 26 bro I'd have took over the universe but now in this new age niggas niggas look at me like oh nigga you old as fuck like nigga no, you like the stuff that we like and you owe. Like, nigga, I've been like this since y'all yeah, knew this. I'm saying, bro. Like, it's, it's weird how, like, the world make you feel less than. Because, like, bro, the world made like, me feel yeah, old as fuck. Because I'm coming to, up I, on 25. Bro, I'm coming up yes, on 25 and I feel old as fuck. But I'm 25. Bro, yes, bro. Like, I had to, like, I had to re fucking. I had to rethink the way I looked at life. Like, I don't feel 30. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Don't look dirty. I damn sure don't look dirty. I still get carded. But it's just like, you can't let folks, I don't know, folks want you to feel like your life over at 30 and it's not. You got to chill out with that. I'm going like to tell you, you supposed to be done with everything at 25. Yeah, like. You're not. Like, there's no way you could be. Yeah, like, if I, if I would have stayed on track with my life still, like, I still wouldn't be nowhere where I wanted to be. But it's just, like, a lot of men, like, don't start hitting their strides till 30. At 30. And it's like they tell us our life supposed to be set at 25. But most of us don't hit our stride at 30. We ain't. No. This is how I like to think about it. My daddy told me like this. When you 30, most men don't even be married and have their first kid at 30. So how you expect a man to be set at 25 years old when no. most men don't even have children that's or be married saying. at 30? That's what I'm saying. And then on top of that, people fail to realize that like people who like did have their shit together was rushed or like they white folks that got passed down stuff like all these white men that had businesses, they passed it on to their sons, so their sons can like be 23, 24, you know, CEO. Living a life. And they like, get living a the life like whatever that they shit want. don't to. apply to us, bro. Like, that shit. Most of the time, we did it from the ground up, or we trying to do our own thing. Like, we not trying to be like our folks, trying to do our own thing. Exactly. I'm saying that it's something wrong with our folks, but you know, no, but that's where the whole black shit shit come from. Like, you get treated differently because you look at things. Yeah, and then a lot of and a lot of things too, like people like us just don't take like any kind of job. We don't want any kind of job just to say we got a job. You know what I'm saying? Like we I tell want- my job because I felt that this job was my purpose. Like I felt like helping people was my purpose and I thought about it. I was like, Well, what's the best way I can help people? At first I was like, It's a lawyer or it's gonna be something in the medical field because being a lawyer I can help more black people like not go to jail. But being in the medical field, I can actually save a, like a real life, like any age real life. Mm-hmm. Anytime. But in the you know, in the judicial field, that's like it the law. Like the law don't let you save it but right to a certain in the medical field they do and that's like where they boil down yeah like i could come <laughs> like if i show up on your doorstep bleeding and shit because you're in the gonna save field, you, you to, i'm know? gonna save you yeah except for my bitch ass doctor i don't know about that nigga bro that nigga you said i don't know <laughs> that, this new nigga bro like i've never met a doctor who just changed your medicine without talking you know, about nice to about everything these new doctors are some most shit boy But, uh, I don't know, bro, like, I, I, uh, 
Like I commend, like I, I, I commend folks that are entrepreneurs and shit. Like I knew I wasn't yeah, yeah. built by the way by yourself, right now. Like I knew I wasn't built for no job <laughs> from the start, bro. And then it's just like all this happened to me to where I gotta get this building and shit. Like it's kind of like I'm blessed in disguise so I can work on. Ever whatever you want to, like whatever your own person and shit, because you got all the time to. Because mm-hmm. <clears throat> that's how I feel about people that have disabilities that keep them from working. I'd be like, it's just a sign that you meant to be an entrepreneur because you have all the time to do it. Like nobody's asking you anything. Else. You can focus on whatever you want. Mm-hmm. Hey, look how far I done got the podcast in my Twitch this year. We had two hundred. Yeah, we all we almost had our first year, our first year in four more months. We done yeah, already the podcast will be at a year, but I'm talking about me, like just me by myself with Twitch. I'm gonna be at a year on the eighth, and it's just crazy that like I'm at two hundred and ten followers in one. Imagine day. it. That's fucking. Imagine crazy. if you was like me, had a real had like a job that expected you to be there every day and we can set for the weekends That's you ain't even have time man. to do that shit. yeah because like i'll be i'll be upset because you ain't even started you know what i'm saying i ain't started but, because man. i ain't had time but shit when i get the ps5 it's just be more seen like but still you still need to make time for work that's like but that's like the new day you know my new job yeah be like two days a week it'd be like Wednesday and thursday then shit every three weeks i get i have to work a saturday and sunday 12 hours shit. so i'm gonna be off most of the time during the week and i just have to work Wednesday and Thursday. Oh, okay. then, you be in the yeah, game, man. i'll be straight and then pay is the same as i'm getting now so that worked for me and it's only gonna be like 20 30 minutes from one let's say that's gonna, gonna be straight I have my time. Like I have Monday, Tuesday, and then Friday and day. Yeah. Shit, yeah, I can take. Right. Get the PS5, the camera, the bundle. If it's gonna, cause when he said he's like, dude, it doesn't matter. I was like, nah. But if it, if I had to pick, I would want a digital. And then he told me like the next day. He was like, what if they don't have like digital? Since you be okay with like bundles, so I was like, yeah. I'm about to tell you, bro, them, like, digital, them digital is gonna be rare. I want a digital just cause, like, when they when they uh, ten years from now, did the digitals are are gonna be like rare as shit, bro? Like they're gonna. That's what I like. I want one. Like I wanted the one. This is gonna be rare. But I wanted the digital, though. I wanted the digital so bad. And I don't they, that was like to, the first I, one. I honestly don't want the digital to do good because it, uh. I do, nigga. Rose, you look, <laughs> Rose, you look like. What did he say? Buy he said you look like you buy ice cream cones. I do, nigga. Why you think my smile straight? Oh, my God. Gotta keep them frosty. You <laughs> see, I'm gonna keep. need a ring like, bro. My whole setup vibe. I'm gonna get some probably. I, I hope that it's the bundle and then I'm gonna get the headset, the camera, and the, the PlayStation. That way I have all of that. No, I can get that from Game. Yeah. Are you wanting to like have your setup like mine's or are you just trying to like have it to where like you can just start I want to just start doing it. it. Not worry about upgrading it like as I'm going. Because I want to help you like with your shit. Like as far as like. Get the people always having something to watch during the week. Because the days that you don't do it could be the days that I do it. Like, that you taking your breaks to race. I could be doing it like that day. And that could be like some shit that you don't, that they wouldn't necessarily see from you because, like, you playing something. It could be something that you don't necessarily play because you like playing different shit. It could be like one of them first person games that I be playing. And they be seeing other people play. But let me see what Rose is doing. It's like a day that you're not streaming. The next day, they got you streaming again, so they can come back and have some help. Yeah, I'm gonna get the community up. Like my goal Hello, is Rube. to get to where everybody. What up, Rude? My goal is to get everybody to where, and we just all funnel. Cause I want Hyperion Rangers to turn into like what Phase Clan is, what them other like you know streamer clans are. 
It's just that people gotta be serious about the shit. And I know people work and stuff, but everybody gotta be serious. Like I wish, like I would love to get like a, a Hyperion house, like AMP. Like you know how they got that AMP house? Yeah. Like we yeah. got the, the 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 Moon Village house. That'd be lit as shit, bro. Yeah, would be fine. <clears throat> And bro, my shit came out and it was scary. That Netflix did good with it. I liked it. What? I judge you. That shit is scary. So how they so when they, you seen the whole like you bust through? Bro, this so is how it happened. I'm gonna tell you, look, 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 look. I'm gonna just tell like, you. I've been waiting I've honestly been waiting on that to drop so I can like it was, bust through man. And what's crazy is to me. me because I read it, it was explained a lot roughly in the manga. In this, L- you see it actually L-L-C like loans and sponsors required. Sponsors required. Well, no shit, Sherlock. But I gotta build me up first. That's why, like, if everybody can like build me up first, and then I can start funneling, like, yeah, you know, like if I can get to where, like, all right, hypothetically, like, say, like, I start making so much, and I'm able to pay Dro just to sit at home and stream you see what i'm saying to where he can finally build up his audience and then he will start making money to where i can stop paying him and then like get the next person up you see what i'm saying vice versa like that like that's like i don't know that's like how i think about it you know what i'm saying because a lot of stream places like they just like search for like the hot nigga and then they add them to their group I don't want to do that. I want all my niggas to actually, like, be there, not just niggas we meet. Because, like, once I get, like, to a certain amount of followers, I'm not adding nobody else to the clan, no nothing. I'm not, like, the clan cut off. If you're not active, you getting kicked out. Like, the clan going to be, like, I want it to be, like, compact, small, and active to where like if y'all see us on like duty destiny whatever like you know what i'm saying like they be like damn they go somebody from such and such like that's my yeah, yeah. that's one of my dreams sure. kill, gonna get kill you're gonna get kicked out bro so you gonna get kicked out my boy but it's okay it's, it's a i'm a mom it was person, crazy by the way. oh yeah we need to hook up on that <laughs> Nah, I was playing that earlier, but shit, you're gonna like it because there is a lot of Florida in it. And I feel like that's what you're gonna like. Like, it end up going to Cape Canaveral, like where the space center is at. That's where, like, the last piece of it take place at. And what, that's when Gucci zone? hit. Uh-uh, and JoJo's in this part. Like, oh, the last oh, part of it take place in the space station. Yeah, they take place in the space station. And that's when he get the gravity, the gravity part of his thing. And it's basically like Pucci is the center of his own gravity. Shit, shit that's in his area of effect gets repelled away from him. So it's like if you're looking at the earth, people be asking, well, how we don't fall off the earth if, you know, it's always spinning. Pucci stand, make it to where you do fall sideways to the ground. Cause that's like what was happening. Like they was falling sideways, perpendicular uh, to the ground. No, nah, Dro, he is the Dro Kill. Kill is the most loyal supporter. This yeah, nigga, he's the most loyal supporter. This nigga like <laughs> he talking his shit, but he nah, the most he can talk loyal. His shit, bro. He be on every stream, bro. Like no cap, he here every time I go live. This nigga here. Like I'm sorry, Dro. Like. He can righteously say that. He hear more than fucking Rose. And say it. That shit happened. And they do a good job of letting you know that Jolene and them did lose. Like, they lost because Jotaro saved his daughter. He chose to save her. He did the same move that Dio did. He threw the knives in the air when Jotaro only had five seconds to attack Pucci to end, like, everything that was going on. And the knife stuck Jolene in her neck and he threw her out the way. That cost him two seconds of his time. And the time snapped back. It was already going fast. This is how fast it started. It started going where 20 minutes was a day. That's how it started, right? 20 minutes was a day. It sped up 
to the degree where the sun wasn't seen going like down. It was like going across the sky. People in real life was like, it looked like it's a ray of light just flying across the sky. Because how, because how his stand works is it speeds up time, but it only speeds up time for the world and not the things inside of the world. Because what happened was, if you didn't die while time was speeding up, you essentially lived out the entire lifespan of the earth until a new one was made. When a new one was made, it brings you back to the beginning of part six, which is like 2011, like July. Whatever. And when you get there, all the characters are different. The Jolene and the Jotaro that we know, they don't exist because Poochie killed them before time had went, before he stopped time. All the people that he felt like would ruin his plan, he killed them and he left them in the past time stream. And souls, per se, then traverse the time stream to get to this point they at now. Literally erased all the JoJo's that we know up until this point. And Emporio kills him because he held a copy of a stand, put it in his head, and he killed him because he turned the room into oxygen. For oxygen. Let me ask you this. Yeah. Oxygen. Huh? Do I have to watch all the other ones just to watch oh. this one? Oh, or you can it, watch or this would one. Be, or would it be doper if I watched all of them? The only character, the only character that makes an appearance from all the other ones is Jotaro, if that tell you anything. So you don't have to watch yeah, none what, of them. That's season three, ain't it? Yeah, if you've seen Stardust Crusaders, that's the only thing you need to know is I that. See, no, Star, I seen, I seen an Italian nigga. Which one is that? That's five. That's Giorno, where they did Prince with every time you yeah, close my eyes. Yeah, yeah that's, the, that's him. Yona. I got halfway and I was like, but I was missing stuff because I didn't see everything. So I stopped. The only thing that's the key thing in it is the arrow. The arrowhead is what plays the key in all of it because that's how people keep stands. If you're not born with a stand, you have to be shot with the arrow. The arrow is going to kill you or it's going to bring you back to life and make you a stand. Because, like, yeah, I know did a good, they did a good job in this part. Of showing you Poochie and Weather's backstory. Poochie and Weather are twins. Find out that in the story, the narrator tell you, I'm going to tell you the entire story right now. You no, get no, to no, turn no, moving no. wrong. I ain't going to tell you the story. But it do bring up the question of who was wrong. Was Poochie wrong? Was Weather wrong? Was Poochie mama wrong? Or was they sister wrong for not knowing anything? And it's like who who's I'm, really I'm, at the I'm point of uh, who made who at this point and it really is pretty i'm a bust I ain't, ain't they all like what 20 to 50 episodes yeah, they about 30 this one was 38 like i know part six a part five the one that you said that you finished watching with the italian nigga, that's 52 that's the longest one i think mm -hmm. this one was 38 it's not that long hey i wanted to just see what they do made in heaven right and they did it great because uh, people reacted to it, made it scared because they didn't know what was going on. Like it was a newscaster saying, "Okay, let me show you like how it worked." He's like, "You see the glass of water?" He demonstrated. He dropped it. Nobody could see the glass fall because time is moving that fast. As soon as he let go of the glass, he immediately hit the floor. That's how fast time is going. It's going so fast you can't perceive it. And that's when they, the world knew. Yeah, okay. Time is only accelerating for the world and not living things. But what's going to happen when we reach, when the earth like reaches its end, when the sun goes red dwarf, like all of that shit had happened. He said, they said, you still don't know how to not so, shit. No, so that's the crazy thing about JoJo. You have to actually watch this shit to understand what I'm saying. If I tell you this shit out of context, you won't understand what I'm saying. Because like to get the build up to Made in Heaven, you have to understand how Sea Moon works. And that's like a whole four episode thing of them find Sea Moon. Sea Moon is the gravity part. And then Heaven is the actual running with the horse shit that I told you about. How to stand is like a human fused with horse. And he gallop, And that's what it calls the time stream you speak. It's like this part that I'm talking about, which is the scary part because it affected the whole world. That's why they say Poochie stand is the best stand in JoJo. Because it don't have no range. The range is maximum. It affects the whole world at one time. And no other stand in JoJo has a stand like that. That the radius is the whole world. And the whole world experienced the time going forward. It wouldn't just Jolene and everything. Oh. 
And the end was pretty cool. I like how they kept the ending the same. Like they didn't end it off how the manga ended it. And then we got like the prologue. It was like he wrote a prologue to it, a uh, epilogue to it. It's in the, the manga. It ends when Emporia kills Bougie. And it's like, what the fuck? What, what the next part gonna be? Who, what's going on? And it added the epilogue to the end to the anime. And it was good. Like I like that Emporio, his family at the end. Like in my family, like this is all that I wanted, and he was gone. <laughs> Dro said, "Yeah, but when we get here, we gonna be like, oh, this that shit Rose is talking about. Damn, I yeah, Dro man, know. yeah, Dro man didn't get what I'm saying. Like he get that. I'm just they giving don't like y'all that, the drop. Though. <laughs> they don't want oh. that though. Love drop, but that's gonna get y'all to watch it though. When y'all get everything that's going on, cause that part is pretty good. I didn't think Netflix." Gonna do it and then still ball run is gonna be five because they already hinted at it with how they drew everything like when you saw everything huh that's a no-go okay drop it but when you see everything get drawn you see still ball run like how they gonna animate it because you see like the horses that's gonna be fine that netflix is hinted at doing the next part already so ain't still ball run cowboys but I still thought- ball run is the cowboys and shit yeah but i thought that had something to do with baseball uh, Steel Ball Run is just like the name of it. The, the running and the balls have something to do with it. I don't know where the steel part come from, but the running and the balls have a lot to do with it. Cause they, yeah, I, I, I remember Steel Ball Run is the one that everybody's like hyped about. A hey, quick question: How do I stop the ritual to seal the traveler? I still got crystals left to destroy. Oh, thank you for my destiny. Have you gotten to the part where you fight? Uh, I'm gonna let him tell care oh this, Joe man. And I tell you how I felt about it because I liked it and do, I didn't like it. Do you know? Have you gotten to where you see Sabathun? Like, is Sabathun there? Like, if you're fighting Sabathun, you gotta fight her first and then cross the bridge, fight her again, and then she's gonna open up these portals. You go into these portals, and then you start like doing this ritual to stop everything. And then like you do the rituals, come out, fight her, do another ritual, fight her again. You do the last ritual, come out, and then it's the last boss fight, and that boss fight, hectic. Like she gonna be in your ass. Hey, that shit different. <laughs> no lube. It's easier to do a solo kill. It is easier to do a solo draw. You right, cause that, bruh, they made they made it hard as shit with three men, which I loved it because it made me feel like we was fighting a raid boss. That shit was lit. Nah, I ain't got there. Okay, get there, and then, like it a it a it a your ghost will tell you, like your ghost will tell you what's going on while you're doing it. Bro, she was like taking no damage at all, at all, bro. Like that bitch was immune for like half the goddamn fight, bro. This shit was, sp- and then they locked her power, bro. Like I was like over level, and they was like, "Nah, my nigga, axe, <laughs> you said what I said you is." I keep going in circles. Wait, what? Yeah, bro. It uh, was five. Kill, I know where it's going. After the podcast, and I can come in there and see what's going on, cause you don't really know how to explain shit. Shit, Joe, it's fine because like I know how they gonna end this season with them bringing him in like that. It's gonna end with bomb. Yeah, this fight is gonna be so off the chain when y'all get the whole thing. That's all I'm gonna say. This fight with Katana man, it changed all man for me. Did it let me know? Yeah. Oh, strictly the episode. It was dope. I like that you got to see the connection between Himino and Aki. A lot of people question them. Like they be like, are they together? Are they just like mental and student? In my opinion, they together. So in this episode, no, it shows they you more together. She wanted was to together. No, bro. She Man, wanted that nigga. Were, and now she had cigarettes and everything. Oh. Now that after she died, he gonna be like, damn, bro. That could have been my bitch. 
But when he do get his get back, I believe they was to an extent because like she oh, put him on the smoking. Oh, they had oh, been on that. They had been partners for such a long time. I feel like they bro, had been. Bro, bro. Shit, no, bro. It sounds good, but he ain't get the nookie. If anything, that's dingy bitch. Uh, he did look at her like a straight cold. Thank you, Dro. <laughs> Tell this man that that's not his bitch. I'm thinking about your shit. I'm thinking about your shit. Her and your shit have hooked up before. Because your shit and Aki look alike when they're young. They wear their hair down. But, um. I feel like that episode was R. fine. RP Makima. Makima. You know what I'm saying? Man, that bitch caught a stray bullet to the head. Next episode gonna be crazy, though. Uh, cause like how I be telling Don't people, spoil it, like, cause there's some people in here that ain't. Spoil it. I'm talking about what yeah, they said in the yeah. episode, how they talked about how guns are like illegal, how they was questioning how they got guns. That's how Chainsaw Man work. Them niggas not supposed to have guns. Guns in their world is illegal because people no, are scared of them. No, guns in Japan are illegal, but it's added Because people are scared more. of them. No, okay, people. so like in Japan, like right now, like in real world Japan, you can't have yeah. a gun. So the added of a gun devil makes them niggas yeah, scared people, of it because people are scared of it that's how the power system work the most scared you are yeah, in the no. devil that's how more powerful it is they ban the game so people wouldn't see them and be scared of them i was like damn that that is clean because you don't see a gun the whole show like the whole anime up until this point not even the police officers have guns in the show i love the way they animated the ghost devil oh yeah that, that was dope i, love I like the snake devil I, I like how, how they, they did, did the, the hands devil what was the machete devil name? What was his actual name? Blade Devil? Katana. That's the Katana. Katana his name is Katana, yeah, Katana His name is Katana Man. Yeah. yeah, I was like, oh, he just chainsaw man without the chainsaw. A Katana Man. Cause like, yeah, I forgot yeah. all about that stuff, bro. You're not the only one. It's a bunch of them that had them playing in his heads. But that's how you can tell that they're different. Like how I can say Digi different you can tell by their heads that they different and they have hey, like they, oh girl that pulled up and resurrected that nigga and was like did you learn your lesson do not the girl with the snake man. yeah she was like hey get your ass up did you learn your lesson bro. she had eight a snake eight old the ghost that shit was kind of it was tough to watch i like how they let aki i like how the curse devil looked for aki when he did the needle shit yeah it was clean. She did they different, bro. I love when she was like, uh, you know, I give all of me and the hand that was like, all right, we finna turn up then. And he just all And he still and he still wasn't enough. I don't know, I feel like she beat that nigga, bro. That nigga cheated. He literally called he put the SOS out, bro. That's cheating. <laughs> that nigga cheated, bro. It is what it is, though. And Chainsaw Man ain't shit but jumping. That's all it is. Jumping. Jumping. Mm -hmm. Jump this nigga. Up him. Oh, do you have one of these? Like these? What kind of switch do you got? You got this. this. Uh, I got uh, Animal Crossing. Yeah, you need to get you some Joy Con. Like the Joy Con group. I want some paddles like that. Yeah, like I got the Arceus. Like these from Blazing Arceus. I got yeah, yeah. these, and I got uh, I got the fucking the other ones that I got are from uh, Monster Hunter. Yeah. yeah. So you you get like these change the game, bro. But uh, you know they said they finna put Monster Hunter Rise on PlayStation. Rise? Yeah, they put Monster Hunter Rise on PlayStation. They said it's getting ported. I mean, it's on PC, so I won't I won't be surprised. <laughs> but uh, I just wanna play it. But because I'm so used to playing with this when the switch the st when i got the steam deck i realized like the switch with this these grips are the same size same size yeah so, it's like, the same size. yeah so like i'm used to like having this like in my hand like this like it feel natural because of this yeah i like my switch yeah i miss had playing on that got pokemon again and on the bitch in the bed oh yeah Oh yeah, like playing. I think I'm gonna just have just Pokemon on this, like just play everything. Yes, just I know. play not just play Pokemon and, and Xenoblade and then, like I don't I don't read about all the my Final Fantasies on here. I don't got uh I don't got all my PS Vita games on here. 
I'm going to holler at y'all. Got to gotta meet in the morning. All right, Dro. Peace out, my boy. I have my back. Get you some rest. Um, yeah, like, so I don't rebought the game. Like, all the games that you can buy on both, I rebought them on Steam Deck. And, but all the games that are, like, uh, exclusives, like, I just left them. Like, Pokemon, Xenoblade, I think it's going to be the only games I got over here. And then, uh, like, the third part is, like, Moonlighter. I bought it on here. Like, I just want everything on here. You can play more. I feel like your Nintendo exclusive should just be a no, new Nintendo no. exclusive should just be on. Yeah, no, it's just going to be the exclusives. From here on now, um, like Zelda, say space and stuff, say space too. But shit, not even that. It's just the Steam Deck. I just like playing everything on here now, like everything that I can here. I get my PlayStation. I'm invested in the Steam Deck. I want one because I can play all my PC games. Like, like all the games that come out on PC, I can just play them on the Steam Deck. Yeah, no, nah, like I'm gonna get uh, Final Fantasy uh, Crisis Core on this and play it here. Mm-hmm. I want to get that on five. I know that bitch gonna be clicks. Oh yeah, but I, I like, I don't know. I want to do a handheld. Like I almost put uh, Crisis Core on here because you know I got it. Uh, I still got the PSP copy, and I was like, nah, I'm gonna wait for the remaster. What else? Uh. How long have we been streaming for? I can't see it. Can you see it? Yeah, I can't see it because we're on a computer. Where's my phone at? Mass Effect Leg- uh, Legendary Edition gonna be on PlayStation Plus this month. That's fucking crazy. Oh, three of them all oh, gonna be I on. Said, bro, I literally was like, all oh, three. Like that's what I said when they put the damn. whole Kingdom Hearts when they put the whole Kingdom Hearts series on the PlayStation see, on that's the PlayStation. The, I, that's the essentials. Like you know, like I get that. That was like a that's a PlayStation exclusive, basically. You yeah. know what I'm saying like everybody else only got Kingdom Hearts three. Well, not all of them. Everybody got uh the rest of them now, but you know Kingdom Hearts like there is no Kingdom Hearts. There's no PlayStation Two without Kingdom Hearts. You know what I'm saying? There's no Kingdom Hearts without PS Two. So like I get that one, but fucking Mass Effect that's crazy. Shit gonna be wild. Like I feel like PlayStation Xbox came out and said that PlayStation Game Pass will be better than theirs as a cheap one. That's only because PlayStation just had good ass games on their side. As you're going to the cheese it bowl, that sounds so lame. But at least we're going to a bowl game this year. See everybody's like upset that uh um, Naruto's going like all the way to uh like Dragon Ball Z type shit. I mean, 
what you expect like they introduce me to guys and shit i mean yeah. these they, are like that to say they already told you naruto was basically ninja jesus what was the next thing he was gonna fight another ninja jesus but that's what i'm saying that's like at part. the end of naruto they introduced kaguya from space and it's just like y'all never once thought where the tail beast came from y'all never once thought that was like abnormal and then the Sage of Six Pass, you never thought that nigga powers was just nah, abnormal. Nah, you mean. Like, I say, y'all look and at that nigga and he was a normal. Like, he was out there looking at that nigga and say, okay, you was a normal person at one point in time. He was never human to begin with. Exactly. And then you get to his mama, and it's just like, this bitch is white in the face. Like, like not white people, but like, ghost white. Like, she literally she got three eyes, face, bro. bro. She exactly. got three eyes. She got Iron Man like <laughs> Exactly. Like, she got the Bianca gun and the Renegade and the Sharon gun. Like, nigga, y'all never once thought that shit was, like, weird. Like, she got all three. And that's like, and that's like what I was telling Zell yesterday. I was like, imagine if it's an old Suki that, like, has trained in Shinjutsu that produces, like, the eye powers that we know. And he has eye powers that we haven't even seen manifested but in that's, human beings that's yet. The, that's Boruto's eye, like. Because, but that's Boruto's eye, though. Because, yeah, that's because the eye Naruto, the Because Naruto and Hinana, you know, made it. Naruto is the Uzumaki. He's the closest to fucking. Uh, Shin, dude. The uh, Sage of Six Pass. He's the closest to the original bloodline. And Hinata Dang. is part of the. She's the main branch, not Neji. Neji was the second branch. She is on the pure, so it's basically like they brought the bloodlines back together to its pure state, and the natural way. Yeah, and you get bored to like he is the reincarnation. He's like the purest Osuki, basically. Yeah, and he manifested a new power that only like a person that's from that type yeah, of like bloodline he could like manifest. One, the reason why he got that is because he's basically an Osuki now, Osuki now, and then he killed one. So not only that he killed one, he he has the he's his body is made of the pure like the base of pure Osuki, and you know how Naruto worked with Tails Beast like his this, the the whole Uzumaki clan was bred to hold the Nine Tails, so because he's bred to hold the Nine Tails, the Osuki Suskis are basically new tail beasts. And he's yeah, got yeah, he yeah. that's guy that's his vessel now, so it's yeah. just like he is like he's the purest like Osuski in every way, body form and spiritual form. Like he's gonna be that nigga, and it's just like y'all yeah, just like you just can't get mad because they introduce him like instead of it being like that guys, it's another species of like people. yeah, like it's like hey, like they're like doing like the alien gods was like they, they didn't never say they was gods. They just say this nigga uh, one of them the niggas. Game, they they got just said that they was different. Yeah. Like what do they're gonna be we gods eventually because they see themselves as gods, but at the end of the day they're aliens. So and then like I feel like they not looking at it from a human perspective. Because if you human and you see somebody look like that and they doing all this crazy shit, you gonna think they a god. Like it's nothing like you gonna No, like, yeah, like they call him person got white god uh, when he like literally hey. like he literally blessed everybody with the nine tails cloaks and like up everybody power. Yeah, Kakashi hit his eye back. <laughs> He fucking touched my guy and healed him. Bro. Saved him. Yeah, he healed him. He like, was going to die is from Jesus that shit. That's what I'm saying, bro. Like, they sleep like you and you wanted more and you expected not. Like, it was it was either Boruto going to get this shit or not. Like, I bet you if Naruto was the one fighting these niggas, everybody would be okay with it. That's what I feel like a lot of people are mad about that they haven't gotten their. Uh, Naruto guiding like they want to see Naruto in between at 18 to 30 most people are like because that's kind of how I feel he went from 18 to 30 where it is no he went to from 16 to 30 he went from 16 to 30 no the, the only time we saw him at 18 was the last movie that's at least there's two more years so at least 18 to 30 mm -hmm. what well, Derek, so you trying to tell me nothing happened it was a significance for y'all to tell. There would have been like, okay, no, cool. The light novels say the, the light novels say a lot of shit happened. No, yeah, like fucking just Sasuke alone went on a whole fucking monk. Went on a whole journey. expedition. Like he this went nigga on an was this nigga was like going to different cultures, praying with them. Like, like only for sins. I'm sorry for being a terrorist. Not like, even that, bro, like he was like 
participating in like ritual ceremonies. Like he was being one with the world to where the him world. And then him and soccer relate. That's where their relationship come from because she was traveling with him. Yeah, some of the parts, yeah. But uh, what I was going to say, like Sasuke's, Sasuke's story just dope because that's growth. Like seeing him go from like see a different part like, of him. Change him go to from that. I would love to kill everything to I'm peaceful. I'm you one with my dope of that story would be just like chill as fuck. This nigga just going from na- village to village to nation, helping them out with the little stuff, fighting, not like cleaning up the stuff because he became the shadow. He was Kakashi's shadow. People don't know that. Like he was doing, like he was helping Kakashi and then he atoned for his sins. Work. He atoned, work. Yeah, he atoned for his sins during uh naruto the last but he moved so fast that only kakashi could see him because kakashi like his his eye like because he had the shark gun once before his eyes was like adapt to that speed so when he showed up and like destroyed the meteor and turned around and dipped the fuck out like that's that's the moment when kakashi was like all right you you clear you know i see you done and then he literally told that nigga like when he not here I'm the one that's supposed to step up. You know what I'm saying? Like, even though you, you, even though you Hokage, your little woman still finna do the work, bro. And hey. that's what it's supposed to be. And then he was just like, "She, it, it's up now." And that's what I'm saying. Like, you don't feel like that's what a, like I. That's how I feel. I feel like I would have wanted to see more of Sasuke. I wanted to see Sasuke grow from 18 to end of Naruto the last to 30. Like, what was he doing in his 20s? What did he do right before we see him when he came back? What was he doing? You can see that a little bit in Boruto. But then what was Naruto and he not a relationship like before they had Boruto? You know what I'm saying? Like, Naruto's story, like, cause, like Sasuke was doing, like, more to, like, you know, in the trenches, like, cleaning up the... Doing damn, the dirty like, work, the, cleaning the, up and shit. Doing, like, and Naruto was trying to make his life and shit. And that was the part that I wanted to no, see. No, no, it was like, like, so, so Sasuke was, like... Like it was like villains like from the war that was part of like a Rochi. Like he knew what all of Rochimaru's bases and stuff was. So him and the Hawks was like cleaning up shit. Like they were like like all the ones that ran away trying to like start like little like uh infiltration units and stuff for like different villages. They was taking them niggas out. But Naruto was mending relations with like the Mist Village. Like all the villages that the Leap had beef with he was making peace him and gar like him and gar was like that's why like him and gar are so close like they were going to like different nations and like you know seeing what they needed to do from the war seeing who need to build up seeing who needed help seeing who need to do this that and the third and so it was him it was, relationship. It was, yeah it was him shikamaru gara and uh tamari was like building like building up the nation. That's why everything's so peaceful in Boruto when you get yeah, there. Yeah, by the time you get to Boruto, yeah, like they Naruto, are chilling. Yeah, Naruto and Gar are like this because they was the ones that like they basically the ones that picked the new Hokages. They was the ones, I mean not the Hokages, but the, the, the new Kages. They was the ones that like everybody tight, all the villages tight because of him and Gar and Shikamaru and Tamari. Like Shikamaru and Tamari married each other, and that basically was like the Brit. Like you got. You got Gar and Naruto already tight as fuck. And then you got the two niggas under them. The two biggest clans in their villages. Yeah, like you got the Nara clan, one of the biggest clans in the Lee village. Well, not no more. Gar family. But like, they're like, like, besides like, I mean, Gar and Tamari are part of the same clan. A Gar family. Yeah, but like the uh, Shikamaru and and Naruto, like their clans, like are bonded now. You know what I'm saying? And then they like, married into the they league. Mar- village yeah, now. so they, the sand they is, married into each other village. Yeah, like the sand is the leaf now. Just as much as the leaf is the sand. Like whatever goes on with the sand, you the leaf pulling up, vice versa. And that was established the first arc of fucking uh, shipping. It. So it's just like that's the shit that like. And then B and Naruto tight as fuck. So like the lightning village and fucking I mean the cloud village and the leaf village gaze, tight as shit. Both Kage's nice, so they make that relationship even and more then, better. And then Sasuke's yeah. Sasuke's like partner brother is the Kaza, is the uh Mitsukage. So like they're the leaf and they're tight as fuck because that's Sasuke's like brother. Like that's Sasuke's brother, little brother. You know what I'm saying? And like 
you know what I'm talking about, the water nigga that was with Sasuke. His brother is the Mitsukage. So now, like, the, the leaf in the in the uh, hidden mist village are tight as shit because they scared of Sasuke, and they not going to cross that line if you even think about Naruto the wrong way. Sasuke in front of your house. Like, He's just hey, standing outside your house. Hey, let me <laughs> holler at you real quick. Hey, I need your little brother in the back. He's dead and things. I heard the guys talking shit about yeah, Naruto. Yeah, so what's that? That's uh, Leaf, Cloud, uh, Mist, Sand. Who the last one? Uh, oh, the Hidden Rock Village. That's the only the one that's a weird outlier, and that's why, like, you had him. That's the only village that had beef with the Leaf in fucking, uh... And uh, Boruto, remember when they was trying to kill, uh, they kidnapped Boruto or some shit? And after that, like, Sasuke and Naruto got with his ass, like, hey, my nigga, ain't gonna be none of that. I feel like Sasuke wanted to basically do the policing like that, because from his perspective, he understand what bad policing like with the Uchiha's. No, that's he what I'm saying. Like, bad policing. It's like a child. He understand that shit. What uh what do you say? You see these eyes in front of your yard in your front yard. Just know if I gotta use them, I'm going hard. Oh god, Shut like they Sasuke. bro, they scared of Sasuke. But the only the only village <laughs> that like really don't fuck with the lead, but they like cool with them is the Tichu Kage. It the hidden uh rock village. But like they they was wilding. They was wild in Boruto. But that's the only village that can wild out because they really ain't got On no the outline. Like yeah. they ain't they ain't got no relationship for real. So it's like, yeah, like we it's trying to business. build it, so we ain't trying to say nothing for real. Yeah, it's all business with them. But Borto mended that because uh, he got cool with one of their students from the Hidden Rock Village. So that I think in the future that'd be better. But still though, like Naruto and Gar put in that work for the villages, bro. Like. It made Sasuke it the way it was possible where like, they could have the tuning in exams and it be friendly. Like everybody not fine. It's not no underlying agendas and shit. Like oh, you don't yeah, have like, you're not sending like, the kids in there to kill each other and shit when they yeah. supposed to be just testing their skills. Yeah, like the tuning exams is like they had like the cast of the flag shit. They had the fucking uh, It's more friendly. Cause like I feel like in Naruto and them age. It was made to uh if it was an underlying agenda you could send them kids in there to kill each other if that's what this meant to be like mm-hmm. but in Boruto, it's more friendly like y'all not really here to define each other it's more testing our skills because they saw with gari and naruto situation they had almost killed each other out there i just like that it's just so much shit they could have showed they did, yeah. It is a lot of shit that they could show for Naruto and Sasuke with that growth too. I just feel like you miss out on a lot of key moments in their development when you skip that far. Because how how did Naruto go from being who he was to who he is now? Nah. Sasuke went from I want to kill everything to I'm an eye with everything, I'm a Tony. So, like, where he is now? Like, how we got these characters who we know them in as they is. Like, yeah, we know who they is, but how do you get to this point though? Yeah. It's like if you skip years with Deku. Like if we seen Deku as a freshman, then we from the end to the, mid- the middle of his freshman year, his junior year, and all this shit that's going on now is his junior year. Now I'm talking about his sophomore year. Like they be like nothing happened in his sophomore year. But he, he's stronger. You know more shit. So something happened. Like tell us what happened. Like it's like, if, that's better. If it was up to me, I don't know. If it was up to me. Naruto is just so big. It's still big. Like, Naruto still is like. It's like, like I had a brand, moment to capitalize on it. Yeah, like they branded as Boruto, but we buy shit because of Naruto. Like, we buy. Okay. Like, I bought the, the Cloud Village, like the uh, the Lightning Village. It was a Boruto hand. Like, it's, it's licensed as a Boruto headband, but I bought it because, like, oh, it's finally I can get the bees headband. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like. That's what I'm saying, bro. Like, they. Naruto, send the shit out, Boruto. But... That's what I'm saying. When Naruto die, Boruto gonna really have to sell his own shit because Naruto won't be in it anymore. They gotta solve Boruto yeah. up, bro. They gonna probably re give him a whole new look and everything when they have his time skip. They gonna have to. They gonna have to. No, they did. Like, you see, he look like Sasuke in his. Yeah, I'm talking about like if that's not 
uh, that time skip that we gonna get. Like, what if it's like no, a little it one? No, no, it is. I think no, it's gonna be the big it one. It has to be, bro. It like he, no, yeah. You it, see how he look, dude. Niggas want, bro. <laughs> He sauced up. You see how he look. So see, he can carry his show if that's how he gonna he book baby Sasuke. He baby Sasuke with Naruto. Like when he look like when he turned into baby Sasuke with the cloak, he gonna be lit. Yeah, that shit gonna be dope. Cause I can't see him like not having a big change in who his character going into his shit. Yeah, Cause that's like what happened with normal Naruto. Everybody changed. Him. I want to see him get on his grown man shit, like you know, like he got he got to tap into that vengeance, but like in a in a healthy way. It just is a broad topic right now. What? Playing God of War and they should just in the front for us. Do this shit for vengeance and nothing more, boy. They got out there. He back on his bullshit. Nigga, the, the nigga that was like a model for Kratos, that nigga is in the gym, I'm telling you. That's all I got to say. He is. In, he was in the gym for this shit. Oh, yeah. It was one station where Kratos is literally carrying a nigga, hauling ass with his axe in his hand, running through the forest, kicking trees down and shit. I'm like, yeah, this nigga was in the gym. Yeah, he, he was stepping hard. When that nigga kicked that tree down, I'm talking about mid stride, just got back. <clears throat> I said, oh shit. Even <laughs> little Atrius was, uh, was working out. He threw a boulder at the nigga. I was surprised by that shit. And this same scene, nigga, Atrius in the background testing. He picked a rock up and threw it at the nigga. I was like, oh my god. These niggas out y'all fighting. They do a good job with the cinematography with God of War this time. I like the little cut scenes because they not really cut scenes. They more like action sequences she playing through. Yeah. You get to kind of control the actions that's going on in the scene for real. Still, I ain't got to the end of this hoe. We on what? We three? I'm in Muscle Farm now. I'm in the fireplace. I'm looking okay. for somebody. How many uh how many worlds have you been to? Been on all of them. I didn't touch all of them multiple times. Oh, Story so just back. take you through all of them. Oh, okay. I don't like that. What you think, Rag you think Ragnarok gonna be like a war? Like you think you're gonna get like an actual like war? Yeah. It's, it's because of what just happened, ain't no way we ain't been to fight. Bro, I'd be mad if Kratos turned his back on this fight right now. Man. Kratos was like, fuck this shit. We ain't doing it. I'd be mad as fuck because we got a reason to go kill all these niggas right now. Yeah. Every last one of them. I don't give a damn. Thor can go. His kids can go. All the Valkyries can go. All they ass can get it right now. Damn. Got every reason yeah. to go for Asgard now. Do you think he gonna die? Only reason I think he gonna die is because how God of War always is, you can't defy fate. They gave that nigga a prophecy and said he was gonna die. Mm -hmm. They said the end of the first one that he saw in that prophecy on the wall that he was gonna die. Kratos has accepted death throughout this whole game. There has not been one point in this game where Kratos was like, I don't deserve to die. It had been one point in this game when he said that, so I feel like Kratos may die. I don't know how it's gonna happen. He's stepping, he's stepping hard as fuck right now. I don't know who's gonna kill my boy. If he do, if somebody kill him, I don't know who it's gonna be. What I don't know how it's gonna what be. What if he die, but it's like he get to live, like to watch Atrius grow up? I wouldn't be happy with that. The what, only way I would be happy die? with that, no. The only way I would be happy with him living or like he died and he gets to see Asia's girl is if I get to see grown Atreus at the end of the game. That's the only way I would be happy with that. If I don't get to see grown Atreus at the end of the game and Kratos just died, I feel it's gonna be hurt. But fuck it, my nigga went out. I know if he died like that and we don't get to, it's like, he said Kratos dead. No, my nigga stepped before he died. I know he stepped hard. 
because he's never hard and not. Let me see. I want, I don't, I want him to die because I want to see how you can write a character like Kratos out of a story. Like, how do you write somebody like Kratos out of a God of War? Like, this is his story. How do you write him out of his own story? And we know this in the end. I want to see how you do that. Like, how do you write a character like Kratos out of a story? Like, this is Kratos. Like, everybody know Kratos. I mean, it's I mean, you would imagine Kratos, like, dying. Like, what does he mean? Like, what is next? What does he mean? I don't know what this shit could mean, bro. Because, like, if he die, do we get another game with a trace? If he don't die, oh, they said this the last Ragnarok. One. Yeah, they did say this is the last one, so Ragnarok don't happen. If Ragnarok happen, can't go back to Norse mythology because it's gonna be gone. But we gonna go next. Or not? If we if he do go to another place, I honestly want to see him go to Egypt because he would have more shit to fight. Yeah, there'd be a lot of niggas to fight in Egypt. I have guys that actually like they violent, like they kill people all the time. So shit violent part of him being that wouldn't be like oh he just picking a fight with these guys now nah, these niggas just don't lie. yeah they gonna want the smoke for real they gonna be like nigga you killed two different mythologies yeah like, erase them hoes out of existence we don't need you here you need to get back on your get back on that boat you <laughs> get back on that boat so I don't give nigga, it this nigga traversing mythology mythical realms on a boat you want to know what's crazy he has a piece of gear in Norse mythology that in Norse mythology, the character that has it, that's how he get around to different places like that. Yeah. That's how he crashed around. So Kratos keep this boat. I, I can't say nothing else to say it's a boat. If Kratos keep this boat, he can be able to go anywhere because the boat, can't. it's just, the boat is special. In fact, if he keep the boat, he can go anywhere. Like, it don't matter where the place is. It has to imagine it. That's how the boat works. You have to imagine the place that you're going. And the boat going to take you to where your imagination is. Damn. And that's kind of why. Because in Norse I know, mythology. I know, yeah, I know who you're talking about. Yeah, that, Did he, 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 kill he him? Did. Oh, No, he don't kill everybody in this oh, game. He, he don't kill everybody. Him. He didn't take it from him. He was a gift. He gave it to him. Oh, I thought Cub like, yeah, let me hold it up off you. Because remember I told you he was hauling ass through a forest? This was who was on his shoulder. This was the gift that he oh, gave him. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> my nigga Kratos was a hauling. That's probably my favorite scene in the game so far. Him running through the forest with this nigga on his shoulder. And he's running from shit. He got his gang with him. They kicking down and killing shit. Throwing her out, say niggas. They gonna jump across the damn river and throw the boat out. And the boat catch everybody and they go. Bro, I seen this damn Steam Deck skin. It was like a Gundam skin. That shit was hard as fuck. I seen the Evangelion skin for the PlayStation. It was all black. That hole was so hard. But like, bro, like, I was gonna say, Japan, Japan, Asia got all the fire stuff for like these consoles. But to import that shit, it costs like eighty dollars. I'm not gonna spend eighty dollars for a skin. I got to get me a blue controller though. I want my controllers to get a skin for the one. I may buy like a blue. Skin. See, I'm gonna have to replay through God of War on the five. Oh yeah. I'm gonna have to. Oh, yeah. I'm a new game plus in on the fire. I think I'm gonna I wanna play through one, but I wanna play it on a Steam Deck. Am I lazy? No, nah, cause it's on PC now. Yeah, no, no, I feel like I'll play through it. I feel like I will actually play through it on Steam Deck and then I'll get it down faster too. Know what I'm saying? I feel like I'm do it. Shit, cause I'ma tell you now. You know I don't wanna play I don't wanna play God of War 2 or to play that. It's their first one. Yeah, Cause you can. Really it is an option in the start screen. I like know, before you, like yeah, you can recap the whole game. Yeah, I want to experience it, get the full experience. Cause like, yeah, cause the experience be... in God of War was fire. Like the 2018, if you've never played through the whole thing, people talking about it is one thing. Because like I didn't play it when it first came out. I actually no. played the master for the first time, and I knew the whole story. 
that playing through it is like its own thing. Like you did the nah, experience. people, like, people like, overhyped it for me. Like I didn't really care to play it. Like I don't know. Like I, I guess I fell out of love with God of War because I, I got one, two, and three in, in the drawer. Like I, I got all of them. I even had the PS feelings. Like I loved God of War, but it's just like I just didn't care to get it. I say the hardest thing for me was just getting used to it because the story is told to you different way. It is play different in everything. So I feel like like you a person that was like me. Like I played the first and the second and the third one, platinum, mm-hmm. all of them. Like this would be something that's really like new to you. Like it's one of your favorite games, but it's it's like remodel up your your favorite games it's a good one like it's not one of them remodels that's like oh i'm gonna try to do half of what the old one did then do my new shit it's his own thing but it's god of war now like this is god of war now like we're not gonna take god of war the old one damn it's only 27 dollars i want it cheaper probably can get it cheaper i would wait till you get like around christmas Wait for the rest of the mothers to go, wait for it to go on the Christmas day, like the week before. Uh, cause since Christmas on Sunday, it'll probably be the week of, like that Monday. You'll probably start getting your sales. Start looking on that. That's probably what I'm gonna do for my headset. I'm probably gonna buy my head and shit. Like all the extra stuff, but if I, like, on Christmas week while it's on. Mm-hmm. I need a new headset. These bitches broke on me. They heard my song. I'm going to keep using these hoes today, break. I'm going to use these for the podcast and then my dude just go. Mm-hmm. These wireless and these hoes work fine for the computer. So, I feel like it, bro. I feel like it. They don't understand it. Yeah, like it. I feel like, yeah, actually, probably play to get through it easy. Because. It's side quest on that hoe, but you'll probably finish the main story before you even do the side quest because it, you don't have a reason to. You get all your shit to the main. Mm. In the first one, on the second one, you do have to do your side quest because, like, yeah, I'm finding level six and seven enemies, and I just cracked level like level six. I just cracked level six. I've been finding six and seven since I was a level four. That's just how hard this shit is. Why how hard it so is. Like, your equipment has a lot to do with your level now. Like, it gives you certain buffs. And, and, like, when you get your amulet, your amulet gives you certain buffs, too. And that's how you can make your level go up and down. When I'm going for max damage, I'm, like, a middle six and I'm going for my max damage build. But when I'm going for, like, my specials, like, my cooldowns and shit, I'm, like, a high five, level six. Hmm. But I've been fine, like, level six, seven enemies since I was, like, a level four. I was playing level five enemies and I was like a level three and a level four and then I started getting six and seven. No. Them niggas being but them the wild then the wildlife. It's like a souls game because the, the normal enemies that are like people, they don't respawn. But the wildlife do. So if your ladies die, you have to go fight all them crocodiles and shit you just killed. That's what make it like a souls game that the wildlife respawns in the areas when you explore it. Shit, it is fun. The second one fun as fuck. It's long. I feel like I'm in the middle, I think. I'm coming up on the end game because I'm coming up on level seven. Even eight and nine is like your end game. They say four, five, and six is like the middle. Two and three. The beginning of four is like the beginning of the game. Four, five, six is when you start to get the rest of your equipment. That's the middle of the game. Even eight and nine is the end of the game. And I'm like at the beginning of the end of it, I think. You see where um, they saying that uh, Ultimate Ninja Storm 5 finna get announced? Mm-hmm. That shit gonna be weird. And watch how that, and watch how that whole look exactly the same. I wish it would look like Jump Force, but it's gonna look exactly the same. No, bro. They like look, making it look like the anime. Yeah, yeah, it's gonna look like that. You know, they gonna update the roster, give it a nice little story mode. It won't, we be, leave. it won't be the same if they made it look different. Plus, like, because it, you know, they got the cell shade and shit, they can, like, they're, they're, it's easier to add, like, past characters and shit. Like, they can add, like, the entire roster of all of Ultimate Ninja Storm and then add, like, you know, 
Osuski's, Boruto, uh, Sarada, Mits, uh, Mitsuki, um, uh, what's Shikamaru's son name? Ikai. I don't know. Shiki. I don't know his name. Shiki. Shikai or something like that. Mm, I know, but they, all I gotta do is work on like the new character, and then most of them are already made because of the uh, yeah, Boruto see. DLC from Ultimate Storm Four. See, that was gonna I'm be straight, and that's hmm? that's what give me the hope that they that they gonna announce you know verse three. They they keep if they'll make Naruto the same they keep you know very the same if they yeah. keep Naruto the same you know like, very two yeah. still got shit coming out for it when the Dragon Ball movie came out they released them niggas on it. I'm trying to slay niggas as Baryon mode. They would be fire if they added like an RPG element to like what if this Naruto had like a Xenoverse mode like he's kind of played like Xenoverse like it have a character. I creation. mean the road to Boruto did. Yeah. Shinobi Striker. Like what if you can make a nigga like Shinobi Striker though? But you can also play the story like Naruto. I mean, online would be dope if you can make your dude. That, like, that wouldn't fit. Cause that way they, they wouldn't have to make. The story. But that way it fit their mode. They like, they like to keep their games alive. They wouldn't have to make a Shinobi Strikers 2 because Shinobi Strikers 2 is in this one. You can make your own nigga and play PvP. Or you could play PvE and play the story. I mean, I think they're going to keep Shinobi Strikers alive like that. Just coincide the two. Cause they Shinobi got... Strikers 2 would be dope if they did this and did release Shinobi Strikers 2. It would be dope because you can add all the new Jutsu, all the new characters in Strikers 2. Mm -hmm. I, I just think that they... It's with the whole character creation with Naruto, and they seen how good it was. Like that's why people like Shinobi Strikers. Yeah, running around. The and if they just the yeah, and they drop it in this next game, we I just think they would try to add some type of way with that. That's your PVP, like player versus player is your character. When you playing like the story and shit, you can run you around can the world. Run around Naruto. is very on mode, bro. I'm saying like you could do that, but your PvP is like your character though. Niggas want Baryon mode. That's it. Wait, is Baryon mode or Shinobi Strikers? Yeah, you can get Baryon mode or Shinobi Strikers. That's what I'm saying. Like a lot the of the DS, characters, I got the 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 new pass. I just ain't been on there to do yeah, it. Yeah, a lot of the characters that are in that they go put into this game are already in Shinobi Strikers. That's what I'm saying. Like the PvP could just be like a separate thing. That way, like. You can keep playing I mean, Shinobi it Striker. Good, but uh, Connect 2 didn't make Shinobi Striker, so they can't do that. Oh, yeah, that is true. Ain't too easy. That shit would be fire if that was your PV. It would make it to where you could keep, uh, like, keep both of the series alive at the same time. Like, you got Shinobi Striker's content, and then you could release the same packs with the season I shit. I mean, Shinobi Striker's so never going to be smart and releasing shit like oh they're doing that we got this they keep releasing shit for Sonobi strikers with to coincide with the manga like yeah, got cold clothes and shit last week coincide with shit. look at um i mean look at Xenoverse 2 and then look at like kakarot like they just released like some more stuff as Xenoverse 2 and you yeah and kakarot just got a dsc with uh and it's gonna get one with uh fucking Bardock. Bardock. Mm -hmm. It's gonna be dope because what if they add super shit in that? Like you get to play through him like traveling and shit in super like before Goku was born. That's the RPG element to it. Like you traveling through the world. You get to fight gas and shit. Oh no. And yeah, like your final boss is gas. Cause they, they will be fine. We didn't see the whole freezer shit play out in Kakarot already. You get to fight gas as the final boss is part up. That's how I would think. Well, I think we gonna see. Like, unless you get to play through. The history, that happened before the freeze and shit. So you can still add that in there. I know, like, it, it can go either way with uh, the Bardock DLC. I would like, because I would like it to be gas and then. The last cutscene is him 
putting, you know, old Goku and them in the pod and Yeah, like you play all the way up to that moment of Vegeta blowing up. Like you can do that. And it's like, you know, you get to play through all the little cutscenes and shit, cause the drunk shit actually like there is like a section if you go and replay the scene with Gohan and the androids you can have it the way he win he win the fight and he survived but don't nothing else happen after that though yeah just tell you that they survived they trunks and Gohan survived the androids on like, like that's like what they tell you after if you can't make it to where Gohan live after that shit like he killed the androids in that fight instead of him dying and what ended up happening was he just turned Super Saiyan 2 and he killed him. That's how he got his Super Saiyan 2 instead of fighting Cell. Hmm. That would have been dope though. His future Gohan like story would have been like how he got his Super Saiyan 2. That nigga had to die. <laughs> nigga no, nigga like Trunks died. died. Like what if Trunks died and he fought Cell? Even like how his SF did anyway. He fought Cell anyway and still got Super Saiyan 2 and came back and killed the androids like Trunks. The way that we just played out, but it was Gohan instead of Trunks. Like, Gohan came back no, to the cave. because if that was the case, he would have turned Super Saiyan 2 when he lost his dad and Vegeta and shit. He wasn't training this all at the end. Team, they ain't know in their original timeline that the androids was coming. Yeah, but his mama died. That would have been a moment. Like, there's so many other people that Gohan was closer to. That, would have. that probably wouldn't have made much sense, but they do that with Xenoverse though. Like you can go back and replay the missions, and they give you like them separate endings. Like one where Gohan survived, Trunks go back and save Gohan. Like you go when he come back from time. This time it it happened after he leave. He leave and he go to fight the androids. His time machine fucked up. He went back in time to when Gohan fought the androids. He saved him. In Xenoverse, that's how you guys, you know, Gohan playing with Trunks as his partner. Hmm. That shit was tough because that's how I would have expected it to happen if it was canon in the anime. And Trunks didn't know how that shit worked for real. Like, we didn't know how time travel worked for real back then. What did he did happen to go back too far? He said Gohan. He got what he really wanted, which was to save his master at the end of the day. Oh, uh, speaking of uh, trunks and shit, I bought uh, Dragon Ball Z Kakarot for like fifteen dollars with the season pass. On the Steam Deck. Yeah, on, yeah, the Steam. They had a massive Steam sale. That whole gonna be clutch because I heard on the Switch Kakarot is crazy to play. Like it just looked good. Yeah, I know. And so like being able to see it on Steam Deck, bro, it's gonna be. Like, I got it on Steam. I got that. I got, uh, I told you about, um, what was the damn game? Scarlet Nexus. Fantasy. Yeah, Final Fantasy. I got them too, yeah. I just got Have you started Nexus. playing Scarlet Nexus? No. Uh -uh. Okay. That'd be my thing. I got Pokemon and God of War kind of at the same time. I want to finish one of them before I get it. Yeah, when I start, the only thing I've been doing on my Steam Deck is trying to get Final Fantasy VIII music to work, bro. Like, it's pissing me off. It is like Crash now. No, like, it'll play, the game plays, but the music doesn't play with the game. And it's pissing me off because, you know me, the music most the most important thing. Like, the move. The music you know, is, what immerses, is what immerses me. Yeah, an MRPG. That's what set the mood. Mm-hmm. Definitely needs to check it. That's like how I be feeling. And I be playing God of War shit. Since, like, the scene and the music and, like, how you feel play a lot into this game. Mm -hmm. They said tension is real high. Let me ask you this. Let me ask you this. Do you think video game music now is better than it was before? You think me video game music from back in the day is better? Cause like now they know that people with headsets on can play with how the music like comes into your ears. I like playing God of War with my headset on. Like oh, the music. No. I don't think that. maybe because I don't played a lot of JRPGs and that's where the best songs come from. I don't, I don't I feel like so. the music. Have you? I just feel like a lot of the single player games where you get that good music. No, like, yes. No, yeah. It's like a Days lot of Gone. Days Gone has good music. 
Dead. Yeah, but I got bro. Every Final Fantasy album is it's a good. Player. That's how I feel about Kingdom Hearts. Like every every Kingdom but Hearts, that, that like they fall in the Final Fantasy. Like anything with Square Enix, gonna be a gonna be a banker. Like yeah. that's why like I'm excited. That's why I don't want to play. I want to start Final Fantasy VIII on the Steam Deck, but I need the music to play. Like I it's not, it. it's not even the game without the music. That's like me with Devil May Cry. I turn my music off if I'm listening to music. I turn my music off when I'm. I like the soundtrack. That's what I'm saying. Like, uh, like man, what's a game that just like? Now it is some new games that like took me like, damn, it's a banger. Like, um, Pokemon Legends Arceus. Banger. And kind of music in that had banger music. Man, that shit hit, especially like the different tracks and shit. Where it's just like, damn, like it just set the mood like all the way. Yeah. Hey, hey. uh, I know near Autumn got like some bangers. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Hey, hey. But it didn't really has good music too. Like that surprised me about that game. From software had games that had good music. Today music is how I say it's set the theme for what's going on. Like if you in a death trap, nigga, you gonna feel like you in a death trap in that game. On what? In Elden Ring, like if you in a death trap, you gonna feel like you in a death trap. You gonna hear the music, everything. The lights gonna change, all types of shit. Yeah. This is what they say make Callisto Protocol scary if you've never played a game like that before. The atmosphere make everything that much more scary. Oh yeah, I bet. I, bet. I ain't gonna lie, knowing that you in space make dead space that much more scary because it's like, there ain't nothing gonna help me. If it's literally outside, like if I step outside, I'm gonna die, so I might as well walk through this bitch and get something. Uh, maybe I'm biased for PS2 games. Like I was listening to the Yu Hakusho Show game soundtrack like earlier. Yeah, they were jumping, wasn't it? Yeah, cause they remixed a lot of the show songs, so it's just like they. I, I don't know you. I didn't know you could up that soundtrack, but they did. My boy did that shit. They. I wish they would remake some of the old anime. Like that one in particular. I wish See, they would make that one in the Berserk game. The Berserk game that came out on PS2. I wish they would bring it. But see, that's what I, that's why like game preservation matters, bro. Like just going back and playing these games now, I'm just like, damn, son. You be older, you can appreciate them more. It's how I felt when I was going through Kingdom Hearts again. Oh man, like, I appreciate this show a lot. Just being able to like understand everything that's going on, enjoying the story as it's like kind of. Mm-hmm. Let's see, I'm. Sometimes it is good that they port some of the old games. What time you got to be up uh, tomorrow? Yeah, I got to beat it up. I, I can kind of tomorrow. How long? You gave it as the extra 30 minutes that we said anyway. Oh, it did? Yeah. You said we didn't get it 30 more minutes to get another hour. Oh, shit. Oh, let me see what's up. I gotta do it. I wish you got to do it. Yeah, I gotta do it. It's icky, I'm gonna go it. I mean, we ain't get that. I gotta be at the bed, six. Damn, nigga, get your ass in the bed. You don't like getting up no, anyway. 6 p.m. 6 p.m. Okay, you don't like getting up anyway. You already said you don't feel good. No, my mood is just, like, I'm fine. This is my mood. Those pills do wear off quick. Like, I, I hate this nigga, yo. I where y'all going? Nigga, you ain't saying nothing about an hour. Yeah, you ain't saying shit, bro. So. 
We're gonna leave you in the dizzus. I don't know where to catch it, see. Or the thing I need. I need to get back to making uh making beats. So this sound for hard as shit. Had to take care of mom. She's straight. Yeah. yeah, I see myself like slowly like just getting everything on the steam deck. It's gonna It's just 10. Shit, I'm finna go ahead. We yeah, is finna get up. I'm finna go ahead and take a shower and get our Pokemon. I got shit to catch. Oh, uh, shit, you wanna run around? On Pokemon for a little bit. You can't, goddamn. I want to catch. Another, I want to see. Do you have a girl of these trigger backs? Trigger back? You have a girl? No, but I can get you a ditto. Enough. Yeah. Oh, so. Oh, how would you? Because, so I synced up this controller, my X controller, for my Steam Deck. So when I stream, so when I play now, I can use this. I kill trying to get in on the Scarlet. Have you been playing it? You have to be up to a certain point in the story to let them, uh, it, the leg they give you. When you get your I ride, Pokemon, you mine up today. Oh, Lord. You've been playing this. You can get on here. Shit. I'm just running around. It's okay to shit at this point. Uh, because of the touchpad, like, so on a game, like, you know, certain games, you got to actually use the mouse to touch. And so because it's the touchpad, this acts as the mouse mm -hmm. on, the, on some games. So this actually is the best way to play the Steam Deck. Yeah, with a PS, with a I PS can try. Or oh, 4, because you know the 4 got the touchpad. Got a touchpad too. Yeah, is it a big, do you, was it a big change for you when you went to your 4, to your 5 controller? No. I mean... Now I can't use the four controller because it feels so light. Because the, the five, triggers, they say the triggers is where it really like the changed. triggers and the and the haptic feedback. Cause like they say is, playing games with guns and shit is a lot different when you have on the fire. Oh yeah, you can I can't feel them whole bullets into that hole and everything. Because of the five, I can't use regular controllers no more. I think it's that I can't. Like I can't like. I wonder what the haptic feedback is for like single player games, like playing Spider Man and is shit. It, like, oh, Spider Man. Like, the, so single player games actually utilize it more because, like, it's made just for the PS5. It ain't made on the Xbox and all this other shit. So, so I probably would get a you, different experience with yeah, Spider Man. Like, and so, like, when you charging up your attack on Miles, like, you can feel the electricity crackle through the controller. And burst through the triggers when you like fire something. Damn. Yeah, like on some of the guns, you can feel like when you shoot shit, you can feel like the gun jam. Like on Call of Duty Cold War, like if the gun would jam or something, you could feel it in the trigger. Like you get it. Yeah, like the trigger one push down, like it'd be yeah, hard to break. It'll lock up. Yeah, like but yeah. Modern Warfare ain't got that. Like you can just tell who utilizes and who don't. Shit, dope. I'm gonna have to play through a lot of my games again just to see like how the triggers, how the controller play. Mm -hmm. Play through games with PS5, uh, PS5 like updates. Akil, if you really want to play Pokemon, Pokemon, what what level you at, Kill? Light level? No, I know he's Pokemon. Really fuck on his light level. I only got my third. I'm I'm about to get my third badge. I'm finna fight the electric bitch. Does Me and my people got a badge? <laughs> cause if he, it, cause I I'm way ahead of y'all. I probably shouldn't even play with y'all. About to run through this bitch at this electric gym with my pupils are. If you see a wanted Wait, sign for a pupil I got Scarlet. Then I need to play with you because I'm gonna just run around. And go I need and you I'm too. Gonna... I need a Dratini. I'm not a Dratini, but I need a uh, Dragon Pole, a baby Dragon Pole. That's easy, but they they all level fifty though. Still need his ass. I'm gonna breed them down. I'll put the Ditto on it. 
give me an egg. I'll give point. you a I'll give you the second evolution so you can breed that. Because you can't breed babies. Right, so you can't breed the babies yet. Give me a second evolution so I can breed with the ghetto. Because I just wanted to use him in my playthrough. He he'll fit good. I need me a good luck dust type. Cause right now I got Pusar and the Waddle. I'll give you Hydreigon. I got a couple of them if you want one of those. Caught a bunch of them. That's how I was training my fairies. I was running through that dragon cave, killing them dragons with my Azumarill. I didn't know Azumarill was yellow as a shiny. Mm hmm. She a little nice. Let me go grab my sister. I guess as we finna play the game, we need to end the podcast. Hold on, let me see something. He's saying it to his game, man. You can see my nigga hair be like, that shit clean. I didn't think it was gonna come out like that either, though. I got a pompadour, went to the bubble shop and got my shit extended. Okay, so to see the Pokemon from the opposite versions, we got to be mm -hmm. with each other. So like, because, like around each yeah, other. because Larvitar is in your game and Dino's in your game. Take you, you can, can take, take you with a Larvitar. Yeah. Fine. And, and I can take you with a Larvitar. I know where they at specifically because I remember I was looking for his ass and they going to be like, you can find Larvitar in this cave if you wanted a higher level one. Are you looking for one that's like a higher level that's going to evolve faster? I can take you through this cave and you'll find Dino and Larvitar in this cave. Just okay. going to have to run back and forth through the cave and now spawn as you run. Is the cave got a bridge going up? Uh-uh. It ain't got no bridge. It's like a straight shot. It takes you from like the south area to the yeah, east it's area. A walkway, but like it go up. Uh, it's a straight shot. It don't go up nowhere. It like curve around a little bit. I think I know what uh, cave you're talking about because that's where you can get uh, Bagon and fucking. Because I want a Bagon. I want to get a Salamence. So if we together, y'all probably see Salamence yeah. Bagon and it's just fun in there. Well, then let's set it up right now. Hey, let me go get my stuff. And then uh, I made a Pokemon uh, chat in Discord. You see it? I seen it yesterday when I was doing that. I think I put some in. I'm trying to put some in the chat. We got. What song is this? This is not on my phone. Oh, shit. <laughs> Damn, I'm gonna have to come back to this gym. Man. They said I can take you right over here. You just want to fly over here. Won't it pull us to the same Pokemon Center if you come to my? No, it, well, it's whoever hosts it. Do you want to host it? Or do you want me to host it? They said, do you know the cave that I'm talking about? I'm gonna look on my map and take you. No, but I can just okay. no, you can just take me to it. Back. I just host it and I'll be right by. I'll be in the town that's like right next to the cave. Oh, and you can find girl, um, the fire poison type that was in the last two genes. You can find girl, you can find girl, you can find girl, you can find girl Lazarus. Yeah. I was the. I was surprised I ran into one so early and it was like a level 22. It was right in my range. He got 
Musicality. Oh, I know who that dude is. I've seen that dude kill. You gonna switch? He's up here in this Zappaco. It's like the town that the cave is by. Mm -hmm. this, uh... Oh, we got. You connect the internet with the L button. Uh, with uh, what's the code? You're 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 forming a group. I'm a forming. I'm a pity in our chat in Pokemon. The code is thirty two nineteen. That was the code that he gave me. It can't be. It's gonna be a six-digit code. And that's what I said. That hoe was too late. Hold on. Oh, we connected to the. Okay, bet. Ah, uh, no. Okay. It's four. You in? Four what? Or you in like you in? Mm -hmm. Seven. Seven. Yeah. S H. S H. I guess what you mean, kill. All right, everybody. That is uh the podcast episode. Gonna play Pokemon. Gonna play Pokemon. Uh, hop in the Discord chat, y'all. Alright, y'all. Y'all want to play with us? You got one more? Bitch, I got it. Pokemon, nigga. Yeah, I'm about to put the thing in our Pokemon and so you can catch the scene. Well, no, once, once you join it, like once you start it, can't nobody else join it. I'm finna wait like probably two or three more minutes. It's in the chat. And like our group chat on Discord and Pokemon. All right, all right, y'all. Uh, it'll be on YouTube tomorrow. I'll let y'all. Okay. Later. Yeah.